Good afternoon, Ian, and welcome to all our listeners and our viewers. Uh, the home team, Mount Compass, are the maroon and gold. They are kicking down to the uh, school end, which is the Victor Harbour end, which is downhill here at uh, Mount Compass Oval, and it is also where the wind is blowing, and it is quite strong here. Clouds come over, but it breaks up again now, so it's out to there. And of course the visitors of Strathalban are red and white, but they will be going to left of screen or back towards the Adelaide Hills up onto there, so it's going up. Important game this one, Mount Compass sitting in fifth position. Uh, a couple of games, I reckon, two games clear of uh, Langhorns Creek and Strath another further game behind, so it's a very important game this one to Strathalban lose this one and you would think that it uh, will pretty well shut the gate on them making the five and uh, cup the other one sitting out there trying to make it now on their late run as they normally do is Langhorns Creek so important ones and of course the uh, results from last week shows that uh, some of the results can uh, certainly swap around with Mount Compass giving Wollonga quite a touch up in uh, turn around and said with the game at their home oval too so it was around after the uh, Wollonga side beat the uh, top side McLarens for their first defeat but the umpires are setting up here now players are getting in they've warmed up they've already done a quarter so they'll get run into this there's no excuse for a slow start because they are certainly warm so we go back under here Umpires asked earlier if they could start, and they said it's in their whistle. So siren sounds here at Mount Compass Oval. Up we set. Ball goes up. Ruckman goes up. Comes back out. Strath get it. Comes back out. Quick handball. Goes out quickly out there to Klaus Simmons for Compass. Goes up. Pinion can't take it. Goes up. Comes down. Handball comes back to Pinion. Pinion sidesteps. Goes. Probably go for holding the ball. Didn't. That one there. Ziggy just got his boot to it. Comes around. Pressure from Strath out in the back line. Goes up in the forward pocket, pushing around, gets wrapped up, the ball goes over there, the umpire comes in and does a ball up in the forward pocket. Umpires Alex Cornelius and Richard Hoare. Goes up, Strathalba gets a ball, comes out, goes forward a couple of metres, still in that forward pocket for to Mount Compass. Up they go up, Ruckman smaps it out by for Strath, comes out. Ziggy picks it all up, he can't go up, he's got a headlock around the player that tackled him. <laughs> I think you can still give him away for too high, Kevy, even if you're the one that's got the uh, tackle laid onto you. Up it goes, Ruckman goes up in Thomas Welk, he gets it off. Quick kick there by Mount Compass, misses it, goes through for a minor score, so on the FBA scoreboard, Mount Compass go dot one point to Strath yet to get up in their scoring line. Yes, and I am here. <laughs> so, anyway, they kick the ball back in and it's been marked down there by Strath Alvin. Mark Elliott. Uh, Elliott's got it. And he, he kicked it. There's more fences around this place now. There is around Fort Knox, I think. And the mark has been taken out here by Compass now and they kick ball has kicked in and was nearly marked down there. And there's chance now for Strath to get the ball past centre and it's gone only a little bit past centre and the ball has come back again and it's gone over there and the player's Ziggy. gone through and that Ziggy Bakunas has gone out there he can kick it across if he wants to out here or well, there's a couple of them leading out the front Pinion and that is Pinion and Pinion who's won the goal kicking out here for a fair few seasons now will have his first shot at goal and he should be able to get that kick it over the the little fence that's there and keep it out of the school you hope in comes pinion now puts the ball on the boot and the ball has gone over the school <laughs> FPA, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FPA Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag with five fully stocked branches across the Florio. They're in your field. 
going up uh, the Adelaide end, there's no netting beyond that whatsoever. So it didn't have to be. Did no, it? no, it gets back <laughs> up to there. That's an uh, all car park up there. So <laughs> mind you, you could get in under a car, and then they're still struggling to get it, aren't they? Could hit a few cars on the way there. Yeah. Anyhow, back of the centre now. And up she goes. Up they go. Welk tries to get it out for Strath. Goes over. Turned around. Goes onto it. Elliot gets onto it. Gets wrapped up into here. Ball's going nowhere. And the umpire has to come in for another throw up. Steps in. Up she goes. Goes. Thumps out there by Hunter for Compass. Goes out wide. Socket off the ground quickly then by Jordan Hooper for Mount Compass still. Ziggy picks it up. He drops around. Swings back in. Gets a handball across the pin. Could be another one. Pinion goes oh, off. That point. goes through for a minor score and uh, Compass go now to one goal. Two on the FPX scoreboard. Strath still yet to get over centre. Yeah, and it's a reasonable win they're kicking into at the moment. Yep. Yeah, it really favours strongly to the end that Mount Compass are going to. Yep. The score then. Anyway, the ball will be kicked back in now by Strathalbyn and they'll go obviously over to the scoreboard side, you would think. Which they have done. Well, she hangs up down. there like a hang glider, doesn't it? A chance now to get the ball back in again and Strathalbyn have it over there, but uh, they're going to find it hard to kick it into this breeze. Could almost pay the mark, I think he did then. And the ball now has gone over there to Compass. And the Compass have got a, a kick down there, and that is Thomas Thomas Vacunas. Leo Turner got the recipient, Kebby. He's a big bloke, isn't he, that Leo <laughs> Turner? Anyway, there goes the... Uh, the whistle's the gone. The whistle's Free gone. Kick to Compass. And Brandon McKenzie. And... Has he got it? Yep, has Brandon McKenzie, it? number five for Compass. Interference hanging on in the in the uh, marking contest. All he's got to do is get his boot right into this, kick it straight, and it will go through the goals. And I think he's done both those things. It's gone straight through the thing, and uh, the wind did most of it for him, and that is... Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price, with real product knowledge. Beachside Betting. You look at the draw that's the remaining games, both sides get, uh, you know, teams that pretty well around the mark or above them, so it's not going to be easy for anyone. Up she goes, goes up, Welk gets it out there, Walk gets it out there for Strathalbyn, goes off, Strathalbyn go forward, but that's intercepted out there to Mount Compass in their defensive line. Halfback flank goes off comes in, drives this ball out, look at the boy and take that one down, that's gone down right over, the young lad can't get it out to there in Jordan Hooper goes over, ball goes down, can't pick it up, Hooper comes back, lays the tackle goes out wide, Strath, that was a bit of a throw, but got a shove in the back going to Strath Alban, and the recipient there is Joel Hodgson Joel Hodgson, handballs off, goes out wide, fumbles there touched over the line there <coughs> Adam Clark couldn't take it and she's on the Forward flank on the 50 metre arc, which is not 50 metres here at Mount Compass. No, it's for a bit short, boundary, isn't it? <laughs> boundary throw in. So these boys are going to struggle in there. It's a good throw in because that's up against the wind going on. Come straight out the back. Compass get the ball up. That goes go. off there. He gets it. Looks pretty good to the umpire. He maggots. He goes it all up. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au to be half that size, I reckon, by, by a quarter time if he keeps running them back like this because it's uh, he's certainly running into the breeze. 
and it's not easy. He's making him go the long end too. Umpire throws the ball up high. Down on the ground it goes. Or the player then tries to grab it and pass it away. And strap out. Oh, they make cuppers. Got all they have to pay. The, oh, he's up paid for holding yep. the ball then. Yep. And free kick goes over there. Down, down it goes now to Richard O'Grady. O'Grady had it. And then finally it goes across there to Mark Elliott. So say they're kicking into the breeze. It's going to take a lot of kicks to get the ball from one end to the other. Um, at the moment, the way this breeze is, the BMG umpire now, he's done all that run back from the goal. <laughs> he's got to go and get the ball and chuck it in. Yeah. Anyway, he's about to get it and throw it in. I reckon he's taking a few deep ones deep ones yeah anyway throws the ball there's not a bad throw in anyway uh, up it goes Mount Compass had a kick out there there's a chance now and they can get this from one end to the other oh, very goodness. very quickly thank you now. very much <laughs> and, and it has it's gone, it's gone for a, a kick for goal and it will be a kick from goal and all he's got to do again is kick it straight got the breeze behind him Yeah, shows the defence of there, wasn't it? Strathmood up the attacking move, but two two quick long kicks with the wind, and they got caught out. And of course, Pinion, thanks very much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, Pinion. This should be another kick for goal. I mean, he doesn't, doesn't have to do oh, much there. Well, he's at all. pushed him. He, he made a mess of it. All he's got, as I said, all he's got to do is kick it, kick it straight, and that he didn't do then. So the FBAG scoreboard 3-3 three, three to Mount Compass, Strath yet to score, Strath bring it out, they go down the far side, out they go, up and down, nice mark there to Mark Tucker, Strath album gets told to play on now, goes up, up towards the wing, just under the scoreboard, thump comes out, goes back down, tries to pick it all up, over it goes, comes back to Strath, handball goes back quickly out there to <coughs> Strath player, goes forward, up and down, comes out there, goes over in the running right there of Jacob Wright. He can't get to it. And it goes off over the boundary line for a ball in on the, well, more to the forward flank for Strathalbin this time. On the far side of the oval, though, as it goes up over to here. Up they goes, goes up. Welk can't get it out, comes back down there. Picked up there by, uh, there in Jaden Wheatman. Strath get the ball now. They go up into attack, coming out to it. Can't quite get to it. What Compass do? He turns around, walks back in, walks into the two tacklers, and the umpire picks up for a ball up. This would be a good day for two boundary umpires each side. Yes, right? yeah, it certainly well, would be. Perhaps go, the other side, but not the scoreboard side, yeah. but not the club room side. Certainly goes up as the ball gets trapped once again there. And the umpire comes in on the 50 metre arc there for a ball up. Goes up. Tries to get a big smash out Strath do. Comes over the top out there in Adam Hunter for Compass. They turn around, they dive on it. All go down through into it. Goes all out. The ball's out the back. Strath's got it. Strath player's got the other Compass player and he's appealing for holding the ball. <laughs> the Compass player's son, the Strath player behind me's got it. <laughs> so up they go. Welk gets it. Goes out, smashed out again by Compass. Comes back into there. Goes over there to O'Grady. Could have got a free kick. Comes out there to Butler. Butler hands back out for Strath. Strath back over to O'Grady. O'Grady for Strath. Puts the ball up now. Goes up the full forward position. Thump comes out. Straight in the arms there of Compass in Simon. Klaus How Simmons. How far is that guy? Simmons goes <laughs> off. Straight over. Over the bouncing head of there of Pinion. Mm -hmm. Handballs goes up. They're messing this one up a bit. A bit of a quagmire there. You can see the mud in there, boys. And she's uh, soft going there as the umpire comes in for a ball up. End of the centre square there. He comes back on dry ground. He said, I don't want my boots muddy. Up they go. Turns over. Over the top comes there. Strath try to get out to it. Can't turn around and uh, Brandon McKenzie gets out to it. Gets wrapped up here and the umpire will come back in for another ball up. We've got ourselves nearly 30 minutes gone this quarter. Up he goes. Goes over. Welk gets it all out. Comes straight in the hands there of Compass over in Hooper. Hooper goes forward. Comes out. Pinion can't get back to it. Turn around, bang, in the back. Yep, 
first Too one high. looked a little bit high, and the second one crashed into the top of him in his back anyway, and the compass is a recipient. Gets up, turns round, I reckon that would be Nathan Hicks, I reckon. Wait for a turn, as per usual. Look at that, nice of him to turn around so we can pick up his number. Normally they just hide the other way. But. So, Nathan Hick comes in, lines up for Compass's fourth, and he comes, bit of a stutter, goes up, drives this ball up, hangs, umpire's not moving much, is a good sign, looks up, indicates all clear, that's a Nathan Hick. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au. He's back onto it now. He has a new ball. That was 33, wasn't it? No, that was number 10. Was it? Yeah, and okay. young Hicks with a helmet on. So it comes out straight away into the hands of Compass. They go off to Klaus Simmons. They goes forward. Strath dropped it in defence up there. Dives onto the ball, goes down. The umpire comes in. It'll be a ball up at full forward once again for Mount Compass. Up they go, pinioning it this time. He grabs it out, steps back inside, drives it, gets tackled, swings it over. He gets put off just There's enough. another one over there for the... <laughs> Over the fence. No, nah, she's stuck up on the top of the rail up there, Kevy. He's doing uh, the monkey bar trick. <laughs> Look at that. That's obviously the... net. Now he's knocked yeah. it out and it's gone over the fence. <laughs> and now he has to go around through the gate area. So he yeah. doesn't run over it. So the net obviously hangs in a bit of a loop there and uh, over the fence instead of tightening it down on that rail. Anyway... All of you brought back in again by Strathalbyn after that minus score. And you know, that's not a, well, it's a good kick out there. It didn't get much height. Been marked over that far side. And the umpire calls him to play on. He didn't really want to play on at that stage. And he goes in there and there's a, a mark taken by Mount Compass. And that one is... Zimmerman, William. William Zimmerman. Comes in there, he can kick it back twice as far as the other player can kick it in. And there's a, there's a long one here. The Straff player there almost marked it. Couldn't complete the mark though. And it comes out now and that is Zimmerman I reckon. Might be out there, 30, 32. Anyway, it's a chance now for Strath Allen to get the ball. They go down the club room side here, or the change room side. And they're picked up out here by uh, Strath Allen out there by Mark Elliott. They'll kick it over near the boundary line. Will they keep it in? Yes, yep. they do keep it in, and Elliott's got it again. But the ball will bounce straight to the opposition here, and here they go back again. Zimmerman. That's Zimmerman this time. And he's got a player out here he can kick it to. He didn't want the ball, but he might have played him to go straight at the ball. And it's taken there by um, Zach Hill. And the ball has gone across there off hands. Umpire, yep. Yeah, umpire's indicated it's touched. <coughs> Central umpire's turn around. The umpire, goal umpire will come and talk to him now. The umpire's given it to it, and the goal umpire signaled that it was touched. Good, good, good correspondence then. <coughs> Strath were, were trying to claim it. Uh, sorry, Compass were trying to claim it. But uh, the goal umpire right on there because the boundary umpire is caught out with a quick transition. And you can see, like so, and it's uh, on this oval with the down, the wind going there, it's uh, vital for the, uh, if we could have had two. But still, the yeah. boys are doing, doing well for it, though. Up it comes in that forward pocket. Goes up, out, tries to get socket out the air under there. Held onto it to be a free kick to Strath Alba. Comes back to Welk. Thomas Welk, he goes off, short there off to uh, Butler, <coughs> he handballs off though just in time, goes out wide and on the chest there of Ziggy Vacunas. So he's just had about, about put a through from there. Well, he's had two or three kicks and uh, they haven't been good, the wind must be just pushing it off of his boots, so he's capable of getting it, the distance, but uh, yeah, I think the wind's just affecting his drop. 
So in he comes. Drives up, goes off, gets told to play on, drives this one, hangs it, goes off. Two marrow, the wind affected that one, so goes off. So Ziggy gets his first score, only a, a minor one. On the FBA scoreboard, four goals, five to Mount Compass. Strath still yet to score. And, yeah, and all the Strath players are right here. There's nothing from the centre backwards, Kev. And the ball now has kicked over that far side, and the Strath Alban tried the market, but they couldn't con uh, take the mark. And it's, here's a chance now for Strath to get the ball and come down the ground. They have to run down with it because they won't be able to kick it too far down. This will be interesting to see what happens here. And there's a couple of players down there from my from Mount Compass waiting waiting for it, but uh, they couldn't do anything with it. He's gone. Um, the ball Should now will, will be picked up. Oh, he <laughs> can't swing him. Uh, yeah. The ball now is um, back in the umpire's hands and he uh, throws it up. It's gone over that far side over there and the ball now is picked up and it's uh, from Strath. That was Riley Clamp that had it briefly out there and now Compass get the ball back again. But about halfway back now, and there's, there's two under one out there, and the Strathalbyn <laughs> players doing all he can to keep the ball in, but he, it's not helping much because he is a long, long, long shot in. Pinion, oh, he dropped that one. Pin, Pinion has pushed out the way then, pretty easy for a big bloke, but he'll come in and give the ball to the umpire. The umpire will chuck it up again. Up it goes. Strath Alban trying to get it away, and that is Mark Elliott again trying to get it down there, but he, he's going to run into a full stop in a minute. And he has kicked the ball straight back over there, and it's gone to Matthew King. He kicked it in, kicked it in short, and Elliott's got it again. And he's not hadn't kicked that one far, but he's kicked it far enough Clamp. out there to go to Clamp. Clamp now kicks it, kicks it in, Simmons. and he gets it into Simmons. And not even I think Simmons would be able to kick it from there. And he's got a kick at centre half forward, but he's got to kick it right into the teeth of the the breeze. Runs in there, the man on the mark. Good yeah, go a, at it. It was a good go at it. But, it's uh, short. It was a bit short. And there's another shot in there by Strath. And I reckon they might have got a point out of that. They have. And that's their first score for the game. One point to Strath. Four goals, five to Mount Compass and our FBA scoreboard. Compass quickly bring this ball in straight out. Kick with the advantage comes up on the wing. Handball though comes over over to Riley again. Oh, O'Grady again. <coughs> O'Grady goes forward to Strath. Strath handball it out. Comes back out there to Jacob Wright. Wright goes forward. Standing in the back line there is Riley Endersby for Compass. <coughs> he goes out wide. Finds his player out in the back pocket. Now they go. Come down the wing here. Got to get onto it. it misses it though. That one there was uh, Leo Turner. He gets it back. He kicks around his body. Comes out now to uh, Hicks. Hicks goes off now. Gets the ball up full forward. Over the back. There it is there. <laughs> There's a, a grab by Pinion. And he turns around and gets onto it. Yeah, he's not going to pass that off. No. He's only <laughs> 20, well, probably 30, 25, 30 out. Slight angle. Wind will come over his shoulder. So he's only going to kick it straight. He is a leading goal dog, kicker. I think. <laughs> As I said, I have seen others go, but uh, you'd expect he'd give the odds for him and he will get it. So he lines up for his second. He's already kicked. I got one three for him, so important for him. In he comes, steps up, drives the ball, stabs at it, goes over there. The umpire misses. He's gone there. The wind hadn't pushed that one across at all. Wasn't real there. He just sat it there trying to hope for it. And... Uh, one minor point, so four goals, six to Mount Compass, 30 to one point Strath Alban on our FPAG scoreboard. We're just in the time on period now, the first quarter, as Strath will bring the ball back in again. A little pass they put in there, just held in there, and 
strap again and got a chance to get it down. And the wind took that one away. But Strath are good enough to mark it. The Strath our player with it, uh, there is um, Jacob Wright. And they get on backwards with it. Yeah, Strath Monday. at the moment. And that maybe wasn't the smartest thing that they've done. And here's a chance now for the, the little bloke to run into the goal. And that was number one. One, was it? Yep. Riley Enders. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Yeah, green's not really a nice colour for a scoreboard, but... No. It, uh, yeah, it just gets instances where it gets hard to pick up. The ball is back in the centre. With five goals, he's waiting. So, don't know what for, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, it goes up. Up they go. Ruckman goes up. Strath gets out. Hamble tries to come back. Butler can't get to it. And his head contact was high. Sorry, it wasn't. Uh, comes high there to Bailey Nisbet. And he goes off, plays off. <coughs> there to Strath, goes up forward, up they go, comes up, comes back down, gets wrapped up there, could be a bit high, it is, high on Strath Alvin, Strath Alvin recipients are here through Will Stafford, so Stafford will be kicking just a slightly, in he handles off, quick go to O'Grady, O'Grady goes, hangs all up, Wynn gets it, he slams it into the point post, so she's out in the fall, and it'll be a free kick to Mount Compass in the back pocket. Simmons has to come right back from the Ross name. Compass plays off, comes out the club room side, takes his time, drives this ball right back. Wind takes it all back, goes off. Turn around. O'Grady couldn't get to it. Turn around, tried to flick it up. Strath onto it. They hold it up here on the wing on the club room side. And the umpire tosses up once again. Up they go. Smashed out there by Welk for Strath. Goes over, uh, the compass wrap up the player in Will Stratford, Stafford and it goes repeat. Up they go, Welk goes down with it, compass get out to it, they turn around, he gets, around. He gets slung around again. Yeah. Compass gets this ball off, goes off there, comes over, yeah. told to play on, not far enough, goes to Butler, Butler's the left footer and had to kick right and went off and missed Scoot. Goes off there, quickly around there to Leo Turner, he goes off, over the back comes through there to Compass can't get to it there and Ziggy. Ziggy's pushing, riding him like a Rodeo on the Compass Cup here and he goes off and over the top. Comes out quickly. Strath goes down on it, tries to put it all up. Bang, there was head contact. Couldn't get out with the umpire, saw it. They turn around and Riley Clamp get it up and it'll be a ball up on the true wing position up here as they go on to it. Up they go. Compass goes up, out they come, handballed out quick over there to Butler. Butler breaks away, left foot now, that's a bit better up forward. Goes out onto there, good body work and judgment there by Simmons. Put the body on the Compass player who was waiting it and then he just sidestepping around and actually attacked the ball. Well, so he, might, he might have a chance here. Distance will not be a problem here. Mm. It's be just a matter of that wind's going to go left or right on him. It's just a matter of what he can do with it. Goes off and guess yeah. what? He has kicked that one off the instep <laughs> and it has gone unaffected by the wind and out in the fall. <laughs> Straight so, out, wasn't it? Almost it was, like it was a horrible one. Yeah. So anyhow, Strath have to come back from the mark. Compass now with the ball. They go out the far side in the back pocket. Goes over. His kick now goes forward and he finds the player on the back line. Comes back around again to Thomas Vicunas. He goes off for Strath. Goes up, can't quite get to it. Pinion. Down it goes. Strath pick it up through there in Hodgson. Hodgson goes out and intercepted by Thomas Vicunas. Thomas on the back flank for Mount Compass. Short kicks, goes in, finds his player inside. Turns around, he gets told to play on. He drives up what? Top up here. Comes out to Jordan Hooper. Hooper gets it. He's got the player on the winger if he wants him. Three inside. Goes off, goes strong, goes out. And that's the mark into there onto his chest. He can put this right Still down where <laughs> the big fella down there for compasses. 
the uh, goes up there. Pinion can't get it. There goes the siren here for the first quarter. With the score on the FPX scoreboard is Mount Compass are uh, five goals, six to Strathalban, one single point. So we'll go under there. We're probably too early to get anything around the grounds, but uh, we'll wrap up because these boys won't have a very big one. This is 90.1 Happy FM, Great Southern Footy, match the round on air and YouTube. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio, they're in your field. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. And some more scores. Thank you very much for that, Ian. Yeah, the players are still in the huddle here and getting uh, addressed. So, scores we do have around the ground for round 14 of the centenary season for Great Southern Football League. We have Yankalilla, two goals. Encounter Bay, three goals, one. Victor Harbour, five, three. Goolwa Point Edit, two goals. Maponga Selix, two, two. McLaren Districts, no score. And of course here Mount Compass 5 6 to Strath 1 point. And we don't have anything up for the Langhorn Creek Wollonga match at this point of time. So it's not hard to work it. <coughs> to work out who's kicking with the breeze, is it? Yeah, yeah, you can <coughs> say. Although you look at uh, the Yank and Counter Bay one, you know, yeah, that's, a, that's a the Yank. There, so yeah. yeah, two to three one, but uh, probably that's about the only oval that uh, can, you know, be uh, covered out there can't they because they're down that they've got the big golf hill at the back of them yeah. and of course then the, the creek around so it's sort of probably a ground that's a little bit more protected from I a still think Yank wind might stage. Be kicking with the breeze though. Yeah well yeah if it is though like um, Bay's a 3-1 so yeah you'd be tossed up we'll soon see it at, uh, as I said half time it's the same as what goes on to here but uh, at this stage Mount Compass are controlling this uh, they were with that strong breeze so uh, Strath will have to pick it all up. Said before, it's a vital game for them, so time to go out. And uh, and we got underway pretty much here. And looking at the scores that are around, Kevy, well, the other grounds must have got away a fair bit early too. So yeah, oh, this time of the year, no, I must have stand around and. Uh Talk or yeah, well, I think if they'd started yeah. off when the uh, the players were out there ready to go, we'd we'd be well and truly into the, we'd be almost into the half time by now, wouldn't we? So, yeah, you're close to it. So yeah, you get that one comes up on it, but uh, yeah, um, I just saw looking through. It looks like most of these teams are pretty well set up with uh, their uh, full complement of players. So uh, this doesn't appear to be too there. Although noticing Mount Compass here, they seem to have. Uh, couple of uh, newer players that you haven't seen around much so they're uh, trying them through so and obviously coming up 
haven't seen names around before and there seems to be a couple of young ones out there which bides good for any clubs if they've got the young ones coming through because you need them there's an interesting one there for Mount Compass and that's uh, Leo Turner uh, he's a He's a fair sort of lad, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. solid, Have solid boy on him, so, yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, uh, as I said, so, I think he's played here for a while too, hasn't he, well, so. He may have. Yeah, I have a funny feeling he has, but, uh, yeah, but they're still going, they don't want to get this underway at any stage, so, no. uh, yeah, perhaps they'll, they'll get back on their normal time if they don't get underway soon. As I said, they want to get up, the stress starting to break up now, so, comes a, uh, Bit of a bun under there, as we find out there. I see the Langhorns Creek still not up, so obviously no one over there wants to do anything. So, I don't know whether you heard my earlier prediction, fellas. Uh, Yankalilla to beat Encounter Bay by three goals. Oh, oh good luck. come on. Good luck. You better well, no money out for lunch. No, no money. No, <laughs> yeah, no you bet, you better, be, better be hoping that uh, Yanker kicking with that you know, win this quarter then, because they're behind if oh, they've Yanker. kicked with it. <laughs> Yanker going to love me when they you know, bowl them over. Ah, yeah. What do you got? You just want to get into that bakery over there. Oh, yeah. Famous Yank bakery, <laughs> eh? Oh, yeah. That'd be, that'd I, be I right. go for the uh, the diet conscious donuts. They're the ones with the bigger hole. Oh, the bigger hole in it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, filled, yeah. filled with more cream. <laughs> 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 Anyhow, the umpires are starting to get them set up here now. They turn around. The runners are still out there trying to get underway. And we'll see now whether Strathalbyn can make inroads here with this breeze that's be at their back. They need to get out and do like Compass did and get it straight into town. They've got to be about level at half time though. Well, they? you need to be, yes, for sure. Up it goes up here. I don't think the wind will drop off. Up they go. Compass get it out, smothered though, comes out, Butler tries to get away with it, turns around, backsands around the way, Compass goes over, quickly, oh, he tackled, oh that'll go for dropping the ball, <laughs> couldn't get his boot to it, tackle come from behind and Strather recipients of that, goes over quickly, goes out there, could have been Gilbert, it could have been, so goes out, in the side, and there's a strong mark to Strathal, and that's what they need to do, and that comes over to Will Stafford, Will Stafford lined up for one at the top end, and didn't do any good, so uh, we lined off. Yeah, I think he actually handballed off, didn't he, to Riley as it come past. Oh, Grady as it come past. So yeah. So anyhow, he'll line up. Wind at his back. We'll be pushing it slightly across on his left foot. Goes up, drives it up. The umpire looks fairly happy. Wait for him to come back to get the all clear, and he signals it, and there it is. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au now oh. they're nice and bright, aren't they? No, you don't give people hard jobs, do you? <laughs> Umpire tosses the ball up high in the centre. Out of the centre goes Strathalbyn with it, through Jacob right down to the... Well, this is another shot at goal down there, and that has missed. It's a point to Strathalbyn. He just and tackled it at the right time, wasn't yeah. he, to put him off? And we'll see what they can do with the kick in. Mount Compass. Oh, Mount Compass kicks it over that far side out there. They almost took it one hand. Eh? Ball's on the ground though. Oh, and that should be on the ball. He'd put it out and took his hands yeah, off of it. Yeah, yeah well, he, he, he might have wished he had. <laughs> he didn't pick the ball up and give it to the umpire. Anyway, there's, there's a kick in. And there's a, oh, there's a chance now for the, the Strathalbyn player to get it out. Push, push down into the bam, that dead corner over there on the mound where the scoreboard used to be, and that's another point out there to Strathalbyn. So they got a one goal three on the FPA scoreboard to five goals six by Mount Compass. Certainly is Compass now with the ball. We'll go out the bottom side. 
makes it harder. Goes out wide, out the back, up and goes Ziggy, and he takes up there Vakunas and he takes a mark in front of his eyes. Still on the back flag, very, very close to the boundary line, comes back in. Kicks either foot, puts it all up. The wind looks like it's going like that's hanging on. That'll be a free kick to Mount Compass. Pinion was grabbed, you could see that. We didn't touch Butler. him, they would have got, the, they oh, got the ball. Yes, <laughs> Butler looked at him sort of, what? <laughs> and you see it from yeah. here. And yeah. no players around. So Pinion now on the true wing under the scoreboard. Drives this ball up for Compass. Goes off. And that's an easy mark defensively there to um, Jacob Wright. <coughs> Jacob Wright goes back for Strathalbyn, back flank. Turns around, goes up, comes in the centre. Over the oh. top it goes, and misses it badly. Kicked out there by Zimmerman. Zimmerman hands out. Goes across there to who we're talking about there in uh, uh, Leo Turner. Goes out quickly. Strath recovering out again. Comes out up there. Over the top, Spoil comes over. Picked up beautifully there by uh, Compass in Klaus Simmons. He goes off, up to the flank, wide. Hicks comes out, got the man outside of him. Goes up, dog, goes, which goes straight over there to Turner. Turner goes off, he drives up, he misses though, and it goes through for a minor score to Mount Compass. They go to five goals, seven on the FPA scoreboard, one goal, three to Strathalbert. While the team's kicking with the breeze, it's not easy to kick with it though, by the look of it. And the ball has been kicked in there and it's been marked by Jacob Wright for Strathalbyn. Strathalbyn got the ball now and the, the chance now the, to run down through the centre. And the, there's only two players down where the ball's going at the moment and it's kicked back. Coming through now is Strathalbyn again with it all. He fell over a player that happened to have fallen over and he fell over the top of him. And down goes Compass. Give it across. I should be able to Hicks. do the ball stops with Hicks. And it goes down and it, it's been marked down there, there by William Zimmerman. Now Zimmerman's got it. Down to the half forward line it goes and it's a mark on then you'd have to pay that one daylight today. And the uh, ball goes out here to Eight or nine. It's a nine. Strath. Cooper marching for Strath, and he's got it. Down the ground it goes. Oh, there, that's a Riley Clamp out there by Clamp. I certainly need him in the forward line today, and Clamp's got it. Goes back, puts the ball on the boot, lets the breeze do everything, and I think the. Um, Mark has been paid down there to Simmons to Simmons. Probably lucky. Yeah, it is a little lucky, I think. Tough, yeah. tough kick. <laughs> just, just Big walk, banana on this one, Kevin. He needs to walk in and stand there, doesn't he? And I think He's that's, got it. That's what he did. Yep. And Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au. Going to the optician. Every month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're putting too it. much money out there then, Kevin, because they're not working. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the centre it comes with the umpire. Up she goes, gets up there, nobody really gets it out, comes out quickly. Zimmerman gets pushed in the back, goes over onto there, comes on the ground, Strath wrap this one up and it turns around. The umpire comes back for a another ball up. We've got a six and a half minutes gone this quarter, the second. <clears throat> up they go again. Ruckman goes up, Welk gets it all out, comes over. Strath kicks it forward, goes out there, comes back there. Compass moving the ball back, he gets capped up. The umpire's the wrong side, he can't see that. And he turns around, he comes in for a ball up at centre half forward for Strath Allen's advantage. Up they go, up they go. Welk gets it out, comes over for Strath. Compass picked it all up, he gets wrapped around. Zimmerman, he gets wrapped up, <coughs> can't get out to it. And he turned around, sorry that one there was uh, uh, Cody Connor. 
he goes up for compass goes up comes back down quickly picked up there by Strath go forward goes over there bounces around finishes up through a minor score they're getting plenty of points goals are what they need they go to two goals for to five seven compass on the FPX scoreboard and compass kick the ball back in and Strath out and take the mark Jack Gilbert uh, He's a long way out, but he's got the breeze behind him. And he kicks the ball in out there, and oh, that was really a mark taken out there. There then, and the umpire says uh, to the... Over oh, the boundary line. line. It's over the boundary line, and it's touched, and the boundary umpire will throw it in. So it should be a lot easier to throw it in from, you know, he's... Facing the wrong way now, I think, and he's throwing it up in the air, and it comes in, hits the ground. No one touches it before it hits the ground, and the umpire will throw it up. Central umpire throw it up this time. There's a quick kick out of the pack, and there might be no, nothing yet for it. The boundary umpire says it was touched across the line, and it will be thrown in. So in he comes. Players come a fair way into the ground, but that's not a very good throw in over there either. And that's a, another point there, so that's two goals, five to Strathalbyn, two five goals, seven by Mount Compass. Yep, the old sign, get level in points and then kick goals, but uh, it's a waste when you, <laughs> you're still three goals to, uh, two behind. Goes back in, look at that, kick in, comes straight over the top of the player leading, straight onto the chest of Strathalbyn. This is Mark Elliott. <coughs> Mark uh, Elliott, I don't think he'll miss from there. No, he's going to kick from probably, well, probably 30 to 35. He's a very good kick for goal anyway. Yep. He's kicking with the breeze. So. Yeah, it just depends what the wind does coming across you uh, when you drop the ball. Goes up, stabs at it, but that looks pretty good. Umpire ran across, but came straight back there. He comes up, wait for us, there's the signal. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Uh, yeah, you can see it's tough going that other end, yeah, isn't it? It is. Strath kicked one point going into it, and uh, Compass have done the same so far. Up she goes. Wilkes gets it out for Strath Alban, goes right down. Compass picked it all up, kicked it all out. Out they go. Ziggy comes out, takes it on the chest. Boom and kick, turns around, looks for Pinion. Pinion one on one, that's what you want. Goes out onto there. Bingo, there it is. Too, too strong with the body work, likes where it is. Him and Simmons play for Strath, play a very, very similar game. Like that body into there, and he'll judge. He'll take his uh, chances in his hands in front of his eyes every time. This will still be a difficult <coughs> shot, though. Certainly will. You look at the trees in the background up there. They're certainly washing. You <laughs> know, bend it over, aren't, there, aren't they? they? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take a powerful kick. He won't be able to stab this one. He'll have to put his foot into it. Goes out, steps out to the right. Goes off, drives near it, and that's where he hangs it out right. Drops down short. Strath goes up. Touches over the line there and finishes up for a, another minor score to Mount Compass. They go to five goals, eight on the FPX scoreboard, 3-5 to Strath Alban. And <coughs> Strath come out, they mark the ball out there. He's got it on the second bite. Gilbert. They kick it in now. It's gone over there to Hodgson. Hodgson. And his kick goes further down and uh, counter. The, the ball now is into dispute on the half forward line for <laughs> for Strath Alban. Umpire threw the ball up and uh, no one no one actually got a bite of it then and here it is down in the forward line it's gone well, out there. Wide, they're, gonna, isn't it? they're gonna play on out here and you get the, over the ball there to uh, Pinion and Pinion now he can almost line himself up straight in front, probably from where he where he is out there. 
comes around on a bit of an angle. Free will kicking right into that now, isn't he? Yeah. <coughs> See what he can do. Compass can get one into the breeze. See, he's almost lined himself up. Umpire looks there. happy on that one. He does. Yes. That is a goal. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. So yeah. it's uh, well, fairly uh, important. It's worth a two go on the other end when you can kick one that end. It is, it is. So heading towards the 13 minute mark here. Umpires are set, so they come back into play. Up they go. Well, gets it, just drops down, comes out there, can't get out to it. Compass picks it all up. Zimmerman tries to get a march out, comes out. Strath gets it, handballs off, goes around. Compass picks the ball up. He gets his foot to it, comes out quickly, goes around then to Adam Hunter. Hunter goes forward. Turn around, Vicunas can't get to it. He gets wrapped up. He wraps over onto there <laughs> and he turns around, gets up, and the umpire comes in for a ball up. So. Up at centre half forward, this goes up for Compass, goes out, goes out wide. Gilbert tries to get out there, he can't catch it up, goes over. <coughs> Compass gets up, picks it all up, goes out quickly there, and Adam Hunter goes off inside, picks it all up, beautifully picked up there by Compass, goes over there, goes oh. up on there, Pinion got the spoil, just come out to it, goes over. Strath, quickly go out, over they come out there now, they come over here to... Uh, the play on the top side, up they go, good strong defensive mark there to Rich Riley Endersby for Mount Compass. On the wing, club ring side, umpire now calls him to play on, drives this ball up, kicks it, you see the wind push it over, over the top it goes though, comes back out, Butler, can't get over it, drops it all out, oh, into the back of that one, turn around, the umpire let it go, he collapsed on him. Lucky get away and it'll be a ball up at centre half forward for Mount Compass. Up they go, up, up they go, turn around and McKenzie, McKenzie tries to get it all out, can't. Comes out the back for Strath, Strath goes over, straight away, picks up the player, goes around his body and he spoils, drops it all down, goes over, he's over the ball, he's going to have to make an attempt onto this, he doesn't, umpires there and he says, oh, I'll have a ball up right in front of the interchange boxes here, right in front of the grandstand up they go Come, can't come out turns around kicked up prickly goes out there suck it off the ground basically oh, oh that's, that's high that one. <laughs> that's high just got him there apologizes he was down row and goes out to there and I reckon that's Cooper marching so Strath in that back pocket line kick comes out comes out crab blue side <laughs> bounces it Handballs back inside, takes the ball back, goes back in, then he handballs again off into Butler into the centre. Goes off Butler, just gets the kick away. Goes up, right up to Strath, over the top, Simmons can't get it. Goes over, rolling, 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 goes over there and is pushed over the boundary line there for Strath Alvin and in the forward pocket for a throw in. And the wind is getting stronger. Yeah, well, the forecast from Ian back there in the studio was that it was uh, going to be strong today and tomorrow, so... And it is. Yeah, yeah. Had great fun putting the lid down on this cabbie, so she might be here till next week. We might have to look at staying. <laughs> <laughs> back it comes in now. The boundary umpire has it. Yeah, towards 16 minutes. Goes up. Up they go. Comes back down. Goes around. Can't pick it up. Strath can't break out. Three compass players in onto him, the umpire as a throw up. Up they go, straight out oh, onto clan. it, Strath comes through, <laughs> tries to make out to it, goes out there, handball goes up, that was a throw out, got away with that, picked up there by Strath, he nested out there, I reckon that one there, I thought it was, goes out, could have been Harris, but anyway, it's another minor score to Strath Albert, can't quite really get it on, they go to three goals, six to the FPAG scoreboard to 6 8 Mount Compass. It's going to take a little bit of eat a little bit of time up here because they've yeah. got to go through the maze of fences now. To, yeah, no, to down the driveway, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, she's, right. she's down in there. I think the bloke's running down the bakery down there and he'll pick up a, one of the famous donuts that Ian wants back in the studio, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, he's going back onto it. He just licked his lips then. No, he so. brought a footy back instead of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's gone down there and got the footy. Yeah. He's, too, the, he's too tired to kick it. He gets it to the full out. back pocket. <laughs> the, the compass comes in, he's going to kick it. Oh, he says, I just ran it. down to do it. Stick it away. <laughs> and it's down there to Mackenzie. Kenzie's got it here and always kicked it to the man on the mark. You can't, can't get that as a mark because it would hit the man on the mark. And the ball now has gone across the boundary line and out of bounds. Down the umpire's clock. He'll throw it in. He's, gonna, he's tossing this into the wind so he's, the it's pretty players good. are going to have to get him fairly close and they did too. Made it look good. And there's a chance now for the central umpire again to get it and throw it in again. Trying to send your scores, Gabby, but we got live now. Comes back out, Compass gets the ball, gets a boot through there, comes over, goes straight out there to Elliot. Elliot can't get away with it, goes back in that forward pocket and Compass them keeping this one really tight into that pocket. Makes up, throw up there this time. Mackenzie goes up, can't get it out. Compass at an area across it. Strath trying to get back. Comes out the back. Turns around. He can't let this one out as he gets wrapped up. The umpire has to come back in for another ball up. It's all in one little pocket, yep. isn't it? Certainly is. It's some conditions for it. So up they go. Comes back down. Strath can't get it out. Can't make out to it. He gets wrapped up. He turns around. The umpire repeats it once again. Has come out about five metres though. So that goes up. Mackenzie goes up. Handball's back in. Quick kick there by Vicunas I reckon it could have been. Nowhere, goes up, really. up and down, comes up quickly, Compass drives this ball out, over they go, they got the ring, he kicks it off the ground but stubs his toe, turns <laughs> round, goes off, it was probably not a good move because there's nobody forward, up in the forward lines it goes, turns round, Simmons tries to make it out, gets the handball out, comes over there, that's a throw out there by the, comp uh, by the Strath player and he got away with it. Up it goes, up and down, goes up there, over the back, picked all up, side steps around, Compass have got nobody forward, so they're going to make this difficult. Comes out, they'll be out in the full, right on the true wing position here, the club room side. That's the trouble. If you stack back too much when you get it, it's, chances are you've got nobody in front of you. Anyway, Strath now gets the pull, kicks it back in there. That one there was Mark Tucker. Goes up there, can't say over this. Vakunas misses it. Goes out there, goes off there. Strath. Grats a wrap up, the player's trying to get it and it goes right out there, almost at full forward position for a ball up. Strath now, up they go, can't get out to it. Riley Clamp couldn't get it, comes out wider, tries to suck it off the ground, almost kicked Riley Clamp's hand out with his own player. Comes out quick, goes over there to Mitchell Godfrey. He can't do much better than it. Simmons gets up to it, comes back out there. Gilbert, he can't do it. There's a clash, the bodies goes out. Compass battling hard, goes off, he kicks it, goes out there, and that'll go over the boundary line, be untouched, and it'll be a free kick to Strathalbyn. On that uh, forward flank, turns around. Uh, so, so Grady with it, he's looking inside. Not much happening for him, though. He will get told to play on. The umpires calls him now to get it, and he goes off, drives it up. Up they go. Players' bodies goes up. Over the back it goes. Out they come to McKenzie. McKenzie can't get to it for compass. And he turns around and they wrap it up in the forward pocket and uh, on the far side one. <coughs> See the jumpers blowing around there. That tree in the background goes. So she certainly is windy. Up they go. Strath get it. Come out to it. Compass try to flick it out wider. Goes around. Gets cupped out there. Goes around hard battling, falls on the ground, the umpire comes in and repeat it out, still in that back pocket area for Strathalbyn. Well, Compass have held on pretty well, haven't they? Yeah, Since quarter time. nearly there, yeah, 21 minutes gone, so mm. it's just about ready to get into overtime, so up it goes, umpire comes up, see if you can get it going, Kevy, for one or the other in that back, in that yeah, forward pocket. Just got to get a, a lazy kick straight out of there and uh, reset the game again. And it's not happening at the moment. There's players out there. Strathalbyn's got it here. It's out in the open. Open gets it across. There's a shot at goal, and I reckon that that missed one it. might have just missed. So there's a another behind out there 
for Strathalbyn. So that's 3 7 to Strathalbyn. Five goals, eight. Was it six eight? Five. Six eight, I think. Six it is. eight. Six uh, eight to um, Mount Compass. Well, got another ball. Yep, yeah, another ball. Ball number three coming out. Actually, it looks a little small, that one. That <laughs> looks like it's probably a Junior Colway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. The big kick in there by Leo Turner, and he's got it right in the back line. So, but it had the right one, so it could be right. So, Compass now with the ball. Finally. Goes off, kicks in, comes out, and he finds his player on the chest there, and Adam Hunter. Hunter goes back. If he looks at the time, they don't want to be trying to get out too much on there. He kicks short, goes out wide, and he finds his player out there in the back pocket. Just keep it off. I reckon that could be Thomas of Vicunas. He's in the back pocket, though, still. Gets told now to play on. Drives the ball up. See the wind starting to push it down. In front is his brother, Ziggy. Can't get to it. Turns around. Picked up there by Turner. Goes off. Handball underneath. Pinion gets it. Misses Ziggy. Ziggy goes out. He throws that one out with double hands. Goes back into it. Gets it. He dives down onto it. Off they go. They turn around. They'll get a uh, ball up here on the wing position, slightly in favour of the uh, Strath side. And up they go, turn around, Welk gets it over the top, Strath misses it all up, goes out there, can't get onto it, gets wrapped up there, and they turn around, gets wrapped over there by Hicks and also in Lockie Nash. So, oh, there's two the Nashes playing, there you go. Up it goes, turns around, picked up there, Strath gets it, he gets wrapped up, he gets held onto, and he turns around, will be a ball up by the central umpire once again. So, 23 and a half, nearly 24 minutes gone. Starting to get low, go over. Welk gets over the top, can't get it out. Strown out there by Strath. Umpire saw it, it went backwards, so it'll be a free kick to Mount Compass. Recipient there is Will Stafford. Still on the, four. Oh, he's on the back flank here. Umpire calls him on, drives it all up to the centre wing. Up they go, up and down. Ziggy goes up and he grabs that in front of his eyes. Mount Compass with the ball, drives it off, puts it all up, Pinion's going to get back, over the back he goes, can't get to reach to it, comes back down, picked up prickly there by Zimmerman, Zimmerman for Compass, puts it over, turns around, Compass has got the run on it, turns around, gets out there, that's coming back, good shepherd there up. by there, and goes on to it, and that one goes around to Compass in number 21 then. They've with over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. But Compass were really panicking well, and Compass holding that now ball up in that back pocket. Three into the breeze, didn't they? No, there's um, two. 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 Yeah, two. Like I said, it's, it's worthy of four, you know, the way uh, to what uh, Strath would be thinking. Score in, guys. Langhorn Creek, seven goals, four. Wollonga, three goals, four. Thanks and for that, Ian. Oh, the ball was thrown up then, it's come out towards the, the uh, wing area. They're over the clubroom side and the umpire has come in and he will throw it up again. Up he goes. Ball's pushed down then uh, by the big fella in um, Thomas Welk for Strath. It's not, nothing's happening over there. Just too many players around the ball at the moment. It's, it's almost, almost impossible to get it out and the umpire will come and throw it in again. In he goes again, hits it down behind him. Now this could get out in the open. If it does, the player there, he got he got dumped as he went to kick the ball, and the ball's on the, the ground over there now. And the umpire will come in once again. It's not a very good game of footy, is it? And you no, know, it you makes it hard. Do, the, those wind conditions, anything. yeah, the wind conditions makes it extremely hard. You have to be defensive, and uh, goes up. So Welk goes up, gets it for Strath. Strath goes around, there was a whistle, so it's a free kick coming back to Welks. Probably disadvantage to Strath then because it uh, went to two players there. Umpire quickly gets the it, throws it back. Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so mm. Welks for Welk. 
Shouldn't put an S on the end. No. For Strath goes up, comes up the boundary line, that's, goes that's off, runs in, in, goes right down to there. Compass, oh, is that in the back there by Riley Clamp? Riley Clamp gets the recipient of the ball, goes off, gobbles that one over there. Compass gets their hands to it, so it goes through for a minor score only, and they turn around, so Compass goes to three goals, eight on the FBA scoreboard, to seven goals, eight to Mount Compass. Compass with the ball. They bring it back in. Oh, this is going to be go going over. Picked up there, thrown out Here's there the by chance. Strath. Strath now battling away, go down on it. Compass goes into it, turns around, suckers off the ground, comes back in there. He turns around, handball, southered by Simmons. Oh. There it goes. Siren sounds. So we turn around, we finish up here at half time at the Mount Compass Oval. We have seven goals, eight to um, Mount Compass, to three goals, eight to Strath Alvin. So we'll get straight on for their halftime hub so we can set up. This is 90.1 Happy FM, Great Southern Footy, Match of the Round on air and YouTube. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, there in your field. Happy FM's Half Time Hub, brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. Great Southern Footy League round Looking 14, 100 years of local now. footy. Guess and is uh, 90 point Nash. Happy FM proudly The that I can remember from 50 years ago when he bowled a bouncer at me and nearly killed me. <laughs> Nearly. Good, Nearly. Good to see you here, mate. Yeah, good to see you again, Bill, anyway. It's a, I can remember the day well. You jumped the fence down there on your way in to bowl and uh, skip. By the time you got down here, you were going faster. Yeah, so no, that's, you that's you that's must all, have been pretty fit in those days. That's all a rumour. Yeah. <laughs> that was true. I was there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Bill, it's, as I said, it's good to see you again. And um, we've got some questions I'd like to to ask you along the along the way um now the name nash is synonymous with uh, mount compass so, yes definitely so you've been here all your life yes um yeah but uh, mount compass or yundi just over the hill and uh the nash name has been associated with the mount compass football club for 75 years 75 four years. generations Four generations. Well, they all play footy and cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, uh, he played in the late forties. Um, played in a the nineteen fifty grand final against Wollonga um, when we we're in the Southern Association, yeah, of course. And then uh, myself and my two boys played A grade. And now my grandson. Grandsons are playing Lucky. today. 
<laughs> yeah. just, just, yeah, yeah. Well, my my grandsons are umpire in football, so they're still involved with the yeah. with the game, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sort of makes you proud sometimes of your kids, don't they? If you can keep them in sport. Yeah, most definitely. Um, no, very proud of all our boys uh, and dad. Of course, he was a, a big contributor, um, life member of the club, um, and um, was the bar manager. Um, and uh, the two boys, uh, Mark uh, was the president uh, for a few years, and uh, Greg is now the, the A grade team manager. Oh, you know. So and they've uh, stuck with it all? Yeah, yeah. So how many games of footy did you play? Uh, just under 250. 250, yes. I was the, uh, the first life member of the Great Southern. Or play a life play member. Play a life member of the, the Great, Great Southern, Southern Footy League. Footy League, League. yeah, it's a few years ago now. Yeah, it was. Back, well, 1980, uh, so I was awarded that. Yeah, that's about when we started off. Yeah, but, yeah. So it's good to see that you're still still around and uh, interested in it. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I, um, I finished playing in 1980, uh, went out with a premiership and uh, had had some heart trouble so I had to give it away uh, prematurely and then uh, I sort of dropped out of it uh, for five or six years hardly ever went to a footy match Did you just um, lost interest in yeah you? no well I didn't certainly didn't lose interest in the club but um, interest in the games probably uh, the fact that I prematurely had to give it away mm. um, I just found that I um, done me better to to stay out of it, um, but um, always interested in the in the club. We eventually went down the south east, so uh, that was for 12 years. Uh, so that was a period that uh, we didn't have any involvement. But uh, now with the grandkids involved, we're back uh, very much interested. So where are you living now then, Bill? We live at Victor, Victor Harbour on the McCracken Golf Course. Oh, well, been there for. Nearly 13 years. Do you play golf? Uh, not not <laughs> recently. Um, the uh, psychologist uh, fees were getting a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, the balls uh, <laughs> on people's roofs. <laughs> no, look, I, I had a bit of shoulder trouble and had a knee replacement mm -hmm. and give it away for a while and never never got back to it. Oh. I play bowls now, oh. which I thoroughly enjoy. You enjoy it, do you? Yeah. yeah. Get out and have a game of bowls? I mean, yeah. I've always said oh, well, I can't do anything else. I might go to bowls, but yeah. <laughs> at the moment um, I, I sort of wouldn't mind doing it. But uh, if you think you can do something else, I think it's probably yeah. You oh, well, still you, do it. you've got interest in in this this um, stuff, so that's important to you. Yeah, as you occupy yourself. So have you have you done any in uh, admin work for the club? Uh, just uh, running tournaments. And um, there's there's plenty to do around bowls clubs and and uh, that's my main main thing at the moment. I run a run a tournament during the uh, uh, the real season, which is uh, coming up in uh, it follows the summer sports, and uh, we play a, a triples competition every Thursday that involves 38 teams from all over the south coast. So I, I organised that with a, along with a couple of other blokes. So what what club are you with? Uh, Victor Harbour. Are oh, you with the Victor Harbour yeah. club? Who would have Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought that would happen? <laughs> eh? Years ago, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's not not many people from Mount Compass who come in to be in the Victor club, have they? No, that's right. No, but no, yeah. it's good good fun. Anyway, it's good to see that. Uh, what about the the rest of your your family? Yeah. Uh, well, there's because uh, well, she used to be your Sandra. Wife, Sandra hey. was um, she was a very good tennis, tennis player, player and yeah. a netballer. Mm -hmm. In a day, she um, she had well back back in the day, she had a run with uh, one of the one of the Adelaide sides, contacts or whatever they. I think they're all still current. Yeah, I um, think they're still around. Yeah, but uh, she's she's a bowler and has won. Uh, uh, won the club champion singles at Victor and um, and uh, been runner up two or three times. I think my She's wife played against her a few times at tennis. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> yeah, quite 
quite likely. Those, yeah. Yeah. those years when the um, uh, Mount Compass Tennis Club were, were quite um, vibrant. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. That's sort of they've had a bit of a, a bit of a slump. A bit of a slump in the yeah. last few years. But, yeah. Uh, Anyway, it's uh, good to see that uh, everything up here is still going. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we're, well, we've always been very proud of uh, what we've achieved over the years. Um, I mean, the town is a lot bigger than what it used to be, but uh, mm. it's, it's been a battle over time. But, um, well, next year, as you probably know, is our centenary. The footy club yeah. centenary? yep. Oh, well, that, that, that's something to work towards, isn't it? Yeah. And, and you've really probably got to start now to, to uh, get it going. Yeah, we've got um, uh, our, um, well, I was going to say historian, I guess he is. He, he does the uh, archives for our community. Uh, Steve Kettle is, um, is getting a book together at the moment, so we've been doing a lot of research on that. Mm, and uh, that's in the final stages and uh, our next step is to get everyone here. Yes, well, that, that's the thing, but sometimes having a centenary, people come out of the woodwork. Yeah, we're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, well, it's 25 years, we had a, a big celebration um, on our 75th and a lot of those people are not with us anymore. Mm. So, um, uh, but we will be hunting everyone down. It's probably a little bit easier maybe these days uh, with Facebook and... and well, you're right uh, up with all those things, aren't No, you? I'm not, but <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard about it. You've heard about it, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's probably probably easier to get the word around. I, I think it is very easy to compared to what it used to be because once, mm. unless you had an address and could send a letter to it, you, you can't do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Phone uh, numbers are hard to get these yeah, days yeah. With, the, with the people. So uh, if you can put it on Facebook and uh, all the other things that you can put it in these days, yeah. you, you'll be surprised how many people will see it. Yeah. Even if yeah. they, the people themselves don't see it, someone will tell them. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, there's, there's a few uh, media things uh, like in the Sunday Mail and, um, well, our own community newspapers now that we can once we get close as we get closer uh, we'll crank it up more there'll, and there'll be some interesting stories come out of the early part of the <laughs> of that yeah. I would think I mean I've, I've heard a few myself about the troubles that they used to have out here sometimes <laughs> with a couple of the players that they got down from Adelaide <laughs> yeah yeah well um poor old Clary Cannon's name comes up um at times, uh, I can remember when I was a, uh, a junior, we used to sit on these banks around here and watch the A grade. Clary Cannon was, was a brilliant footballer. Um, unfortunately, he didn't suffer fools. And, uh, he was a bit like Kyrgios, wasn't he? He didn't, didn't know what you were going to get. Didn't start the fights, but he usually finished them. Uh, Bill, looks like we've run out of time. And yep. Teams are getting out there, they want to get on with it. So. What do you think of the situation right at the moment? The the game. The, the game. Uh, well, I think um, you know it was good that Compass it, that we got a good start. Uh, good we we hung on into the breeze or wind more than the breeze. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to a big third quarter. Well, um, you never know. You might get it if you. We better get going and get out there very soon. Anyway, yeah. Bill, thanks. Yep. Thanks for your time today. Thank it's you. Great man. to catch up yeah, with you good. again. Yeah, it is. And yeah. uh, likewise, all the best. Yep. Thanks, mate. Hope to see you in another ten years' time. Yes. <laughs> we certainly do. Thank you. Our guest today was Bill Nash from the Mount Compass Football Club. This is ninety point one Happy FM, Great Southern Footy Match of the Round, on air and YouTube. Happy FM's Half Time Hub. Brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service.
FP Ag with five fully stock branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au with over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Here at 90.1 Happy FM, 17 to 4. Let's go back now to the Mount Cuppas Oval, our game between Mount Cuppas and Strathalbyn, and uh, Kevin uh, Curran, Trevor Pryor. Thanks, Ian. They're underway here. Got up and going, and it's uh, into there. Strath trying to get up. Compass now. Go back into attack. They're kicking with this wind. Goes up centre half forward and it's a strong defensive mark there I to think he Strath. Tried to spoil that, didn't he? Yeah, turn around, got over it. into it. Goes into there and to Bailey Nisbet. He goes out wide, puts it over, goes over there, looks a bit high, the umpire's got away with that one there. So she's on the forward flank from our compass for a baller. Mark Elliott's into there, goes up, up they go. Compass gets it, goes out, comes around to Butler, Butler handballs, kick goes forward by Strath, up and down, goes over, quickly picked out there. Comes back over, back inside, picked up into there by uh, Mark Tucker. He gets wrapped up for Strath Alban and she's a, a ball up once again. She moves slightly towards the wing now. Up they go. Ruckman go up, doesn't come up. There's a hanging on the jumper. You can see from the back. And goes out. Handballs by Strath go forward. They turn around and go down into it and the umpire will repeat it once again. Scores around the ground, folks. Yank Lilla, 6-3. Encounter Bay, 6-1. Victor Harbour 10-8, Goole Port Elliot 2 goals, Maiponga Selix 6-4, McLaren Districts 2 goals, Langhorne Creek 7-6, Wollonga 4-4. And of course, Mount Cump is here at the moment. Ball still up and down, it's not going anywhere now. Big pack of players around to it. It's almost like junior footy here now. And this is, it's just getting beyond, I reckon. The most stats today will be ball ups. Up they go. Ruckman go up, can't get out to a Welk gets it up, comes back down, Compass pushes around, goes out, up and into it, goes out, he gets wrapped up, pushed down into there, and that one there would have been <coughs> Will Zimmerman, and it goes up for another ball up. Up they go, Ruckman go up, can't get up, big jump, couldn't get to it, goes up and down, wrapped up once again. And this makes about half a dozen, Kevin. I think yeah, he'll, have a, he'll have one arm longer than the other at the end of this game. <laughs> up they go, slap forward, Compass still trying to get onto it, gets shoved out onto it, goes out wider, turns around, picked up around, quickly out there by Hooper, Jordan Hooper, swings around, up and over, Ziggy can't get to it, bounces off hands, it's just about out in the full. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows. I don't think anyone is. knows. They're looking. <laughs> no one's going Everybody's to... trying to police it. The up by saw was a big pack, so I'm going to have it, and it'll be a ball up this in is the, the forward eighth, pocket. Eighth ball up this quarter. <laughs> <laughs> up they go. Over the back it goes. Off the ground. Comes back down. Mm -hmm. 
Strath picked it all up, handball straight around the butler's no. feet. <laughs> Can't get onto it. We're in the double figures coming up, Kenny. So <laughs> right in that forward pocket. Up they go. This is what Strath did uh, tried to get out to it. They're doing what Compass had to do last quarter. Out it goes, out wide. Beautifully marked out there by Strath there. That goes around into Gilbert. Gilbert goes off, finds his player. Handball goes off, comes off into there. This is not a good kick. Three on one out here. Goes over. Turner comes out onto it. Goes around into it. Goes over. Picks it all up. Strath come out onto it. Tops onto there, goes on, he pulls it back in, should go for holding the ball, and the umpires aren't. If they paid them for holding the ball, they would open this game that up. Would have ever. So anyhow, let them go there, umpire, and they're going, so up they go again. Comes back out. Compass go into it. Butler can't get to it. Up and down it goes. Bang, that's hanging on. He's out the machine. That'll be holding the ball. Had the opportunity. So against Jacob right then, and pick up there by Mount Compass. Goes off, intercepted, Riley Clamp gets it. Turns around, wasn't 15, so they gets called on. Up in the forward lines there for Strath. Simmons can't get to it. Looks like he's going to get one for being held onto. He's on, he'll be kicking outside the 50. Kicks in short, goes out. He finds his player running over there. And he turns around, coming around. Handball goes off quickly there to O'Grady. O'Grady drives up, goes up long, strong over there. And he was over the line, I reckon, Mark Elliott. Oh, even looking from here, Kevin, I was glad we don't have replay because yeah. that looked like to me it was, but the goal up was there. So Mark Ellis with the ball here, tucked right in against the point post. He actually should be further than that, shouldn't he? He should be yeah. tight. Steps around, drives, drives the ball. That looks pretty good. They come back around. Mark Elliott, there it is. Sick. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SMA Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliott Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. So, but they're not getting it out crisp you know, now, so it's, uh, it makes it a bit awkward to get going. Anyway, the ball's back now with the umpire. And there's a lot of players already to get in and get around the ball. Up they go. Down it goes. Again, the ball now is on the ground. It's on the cricket pitch. They get a hand pass out out there, and I think the boat might have got a... Uh, got a bit of a whack around the jaw then but uh, accidentally and the mark has been taken out there by I reckon he's coming uh, off Kebby uh, so William it's not Zimmerman. yeah it's not, not looking too good is it? No, no it's yeah. not uh, that was head contact right into it, it split his eye open I think uh, yeah. yeah the towel's on so uh, yeah that's uh Young uh, Nathan Hicks too. So anyway, the the game's going on at the moment, and the ball's down the <coughs> end of Mount Compass down there, and they've got the ball over the top. Strath Alvin's got hold of it now, and the ball is right alongside the um, boundary line there. And I think they've decided in the end have they, that it's it's out of bounds. Well, it's out of bounds this time. And it's a free kick this time because the ball was not touched. Sure. Play on calls the umpire as the player comes around to have his shot for goal. Over the back of the pack it goes and Strath pick it up down there. Coming in now it's Compass at the back there and it's a, another minor score to Mount Compass. <coughs> so it's seven goals, nine now to Compass, four goals, eight, I think it is, yep. to Strath Alban. Certainly is. Strath with the ball now. Going out, we'll go down the far side. Oh, that's a worm burner, that one. Turn that. around, goes up, gets it. Elliot gets it, pushes the ball up, though. Handball goes out right, then the kick goes off the boot, over the boundary line for a free kick, and it'll be a kick in there to Jordan Hooper. 
Jordan Hooper comes back inside, steps around, left foot, drives it back around, goes around on the boss home, hits Butler, the opposition player, on his chest. Back at pocket. Turns around, stands up, doesn't know where to go. He's turned around, he's trying to... He's wasting a lot of time. Him, yep. <laughs> drives this ball down the wing now, goes off, and that's short, and goes back to where it comes from. Straight back, kicky kicky here now with Jordan Hooper again. Jordan Hooper goes off and he finds his player there. Well outside the 50, though. He comes around, picked up, drives it off now, goes in, looking there for... Oh, what a push. Push. <laughs> yeah. And it was seen. See so that a mile away. Picked it all up, yeah, <laughs> and it comes back here and goes in here to Strath here. And I reckon goes out to there. Anyway, That's much. It's marked it there at uh, centre-half back. They kick it across the ground, and it's been marked over there again yeah. by Mark Elliott. And he has a kick over there, and is it going to stay in? It, no, it is, and that was Adam good, Clark. Good mark taken over there by Strath. The game going now. Oh, <laughs> and it's back to Mark Elliott. Mark Elliott puts it down, and oh, he didn't look where he kicked that one because it went straight to Mount Compass. And they've come in now, kick it in short. Oh, I think he took that one a little bit casual. He could be in trouble here. No, I think he's going to get away with this. And there he isn't because he's just a blind he kick. He put the ball on the boot, blind kick, and it went straight to Strath Alvin. And the player that it went to over there was Jed, Jed um, Hodgson. And the ball now is kicked down, and Strath have got it. It's not a very good kick in, and here's a chance now for. Oh, a terrible hand pass. Gets it back to Pinion, so Pinion's going to have to kick this from a fair sort of angle. And he does. Didn't kick it high enough, and it's a, a minor score only. So it's seven goals, ten. Now to Mount Compass, four goals, eight to Strath. And Strath are holding them pretty well, Chris. Yeah, certainly is. Still a long way to go, though. Still not quite four minutes gone, Strath come the club room side, this is unusual, not going to work for them, up they go, Compass out the back, picks it all up in there, Campbell's back, straight over to his player there in Thomas Vakunas, Vakunas goes to the centre, turns around, Strath have got the recipients, looks around, nowhere to go, turns around, finally gets his kick away, comes over there, straight back in the arms of Tommy Vakunas. So Vakunas, he's on the forward flank for Mount Compass, Goes off, kicks it into the pocket. Up they go. Oh, should be a free kick there, and it will be. Dragged him off the ball. Spoil come, but he grabbed his arms and dragged him down and comes straight around opinion. So, so that was the most obvious free kick you yeah. could ever get. Yeah, just spoil come, but dragged the arms out and pulled him down, and umpire was right there out in the open and it's gone. So opinion lines up. Got him down for two goals, six so far, Kevy. So, admittedly, a couple of them were touched on their lines, but still an opportunity. So, Opinion, yeah. just about yeah. leading goal kicker. So, if the league at full stop, let alone for Compass. So, in he comes, gets up, gets a little bit close, drives it up, and there goes the ball, and he hangs that one out there against the breeze there and finishes up with another minor score. So, Compass now's turn. They go to 7 goals 11 on the FPX scoreboard to 4 goals 8, Strath Alvin. And Strath have got the ball now, and that kick's almost gone backwards into the breeze. From Strath, going anywhere with it at the moment, and uh, I think Strath are going to get away with this, or will nah. they? No, they won't get away with it. Maybe a, a free kick to Compass now here, but uh, no, I think the umpires... And if you're kicking with the breeze, we're not giving you any easy goals. And the ball now will be thrown up, or thrown in, uh, over that far side of the ground. And they go to pick it up, can't. And, I mean, it just keeps happening. It must be up to about 20 ball-ups at the moment for the quarter. And Strathalbyn got a free kick on their back pocket area comes out and there's you're not gaining much are they Trev no down the ground. I mean it's, it's just a hole a holding the ball on I think that's uh, stopping anyone else grabbing hold of it but anyway they've kicked the ball across now but here's a chance for Compass to kick the ball in and there's well within kicking distance Ziggy 
and they've got to get a couple of goals if they're going to win this game for sure, Mount Compass. Otherwise, it uh, could be a, a a great last quarter. Now, how are they going here? Not, He's hung it out there too. Lucky to get a point. So it's seven goals, 12 now, is it? Yeah, seven goals, 12 to Mount Compass, four goals, eight to Strathalbyn. Certainly is, heading 13 minutes, so start need away. Strath come out, find out there in, in Elliot. Elliot in the back flank. Out there, that other side, they're going on to it. He's hanging on, the umpire's going to have to call him play on. Doesn't. He turns around, finally kicks the ball up to the wing. Up they go, spoiled from behind by Compass. Oh, one that looked like a tap under there. The umpire comes in for a ball up. <coughs> Puts it all back, goes up there now. Compass player sticks his leg up because he can't jump up. Mm -hmm. Handball goes out, comes out wide, can't handle it. Goes up, picked up beautifully. Kicked out there by Strath, uh, goes Compass, goes down straight away. Onto the ground, Strath rolls on it, has to get out, gets over, comes around to Gilbert. Gilbert can't get rid of it. Comes back down, scrambly now, picked up by Compass, goes out there quickly, kicked forward there by Klaus Simmons. Simmons goes off and they'll go over the boundary line untouched and a free kick to Strath Albert in the back pocket. Turns around, Strath now with the ball, comes in, comes across goals. That is oh. risky. <laughs> That is very, very <laughs> risky. And he turns around, he finds out, and I reckon <coughs> they go out there. It's Mansion. Mansion goes off, and that didn't really look like 15 either. And comes around to Butler. Butler in the back pocket, club room side, just drives this up. The wind's pushing that back and down and goes down to it. Compass couldn't take advantage of. He goes out, makes a big swallow dive you've ever seen. Goes off, and then the Strath player chest him while he's on the ground. And turns around and goes. <laughs> it's a good swallow like, dive, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, they're getting closer and closer and closer to, to each other down here now. So Strath rolls over, then he turns around, gets it, and then he does a rugby scrum touch over the line, and she's a boundary throw in. So forward flank, Mount Compass, not you really doing any You throw a blanket over all the teams, they're both teams. Yeah, they? turn around, goes up. Umpire throws it in, that's good, up they go, chest up there by McKenzie, McKenzie gets his kick away for Compass, into the front of there, Ziggy goes in, can't get to it, turns around, goes out, he should almost go for it, doesn't, picked up quickly the there goal. by Compass, Compass gets around onto it, he goes out there, that's Rolls, Enders B. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tire retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. The players will know they played today. Certainly will. As I said, it's that cold. We're lucky in here, Kevy, but out there, I tell you what, that is cold. <laughs> I sat with Perry there and was yakking to him. And, Perry oh, Jones? Yep. Oh, he's, Perry just, he's just sitting out there, yep. <laughs> Go, Kevy. Anyway, from the throw up, now the ball's down on the ground again, and another ball, ball up will result. Umpire throws it up again, up he goes again, and the ball's come out now, and it's Compass have picked up the ball, hey, out it goes. That's what they needed to break Pen away, Penyon. wasn't it? But the player there is a couple of metres over the mark. <laughs> Not that that should make a great deal of difference, because he should have a um, certainly enough tile area there to, to have a shot for goal yeah. and put it through. The last few shots have just been to the right of it. Just Goals, hasn't it? Has he yeah. worked it all out? I think he has. No, he's Didn't gone too far. No, he's gone too far this time. And there's another behind. So it is eight goals, 13. 13. Out there to four goals, eight. On our FBA scoreboard. Score, it certainly yeah. is. Pinion's kicked eight points, thank you very much. So, Strathalbyn with the ball. We'll go, you would expect, to the scoreboard side. Out he comes, gets told to be played on. 
goes out there now, drives it all out over the top and finds his player out there in uh, number 20 in uh, Joel Hodgson. Hodgson with the ball, still on that back flank, finally goes off, puts it all up. You see the wind pushing that ball down and back, goes out there. Strath can't take it. Handball goes out, kick forward by Compass, goes out, picked up there by Tucker. Tucker for Strath, goes up and down, over they go, out they come onto it, hits the ground, goes out. Compass can't pick it all up, he gets wrapped up, he gets put over right in the centre of the ground. The umpire comes in for another ball up. Back in the centre, up she go. Ruckman goes up, Wilk tries to get it all out, comes over, handball out quickly through there, and that was Klaus Simmons. Goes over, comes back on the true wing, umpire will repeat it once again. Gilbert gets up and walks away for, for Strath. He throws it straight up. Up they go. Ruckman go up, comes out there. Turner goes out. Handballs to the Strath player. He gets back to Gilbert. Gilbert sidesteps. Handballs back in. Comes back out. Hits the compass player. He turns around, gets on it. Back it comes down again. Ball's going everywhere. Butler gets it. He steps back inside. Goes up and down. Aerial ping pong is throwing this ball around, folks, as he breaks through. Klaus Simmons goes out. Finds the Strath player. He goes. Surely that one's holding the ball, which it is. And it gets up there. And it'll be a free kick here to Adam Hunter. Adam Hunter for Compass. Turns around, goes off, drives this ball out, goes out, comes out in the lead, and Ziggy Vakunas gets the ball. Distance is not a problem. It's the accuracy now is becoming a problem for it is, Compass. It? They've had plenty of shots. They've gone on the skinny side here and both sides with it. And he turned around. Ziggy missed his last one. Well, he puts up, umpire drives it all out. He drives out. That this one's well and through. truly gone. I reckon he's out in the full. So that wind must be pushing that side there now. And, uh, yeah, so out and full in the back pocket, Strath with the play. He lines up. He's certainly just taking his time on it. He's still going off. Umpires are leaning on that. Off he comes now. Drives the ball in. Goes out the back flank. Up they go. Over the back it goes. Comes the pack. Comes back in. Handballs. Can't come out. Manchin can't get to it. Handballs back out again. Butler gets it. He goes back quick again. Comes out quickly around to the player. Goes out to Strath, Strath in advance, goes out to there, comes over the top in Elliot. Elliot goes off, up and under, and that's in the hands there of Tommy Vacunas. So he's compass now, will relieve out. It's got short there on the wing if he really wants him. Comes off in the centre, finds his player running out into him, and that one there finds out is Cody Connor. Cody Connor calls his player forward, goes off, and he finds his player out there in Nathan Hicks, who's come off with that cut across the eye, I reckon. So he's back on the field, so he's been fixed up, goes off, drives this ball right up. There's the leg on it, over the back. Thank you very much. Strath Alban got caught out there, the wind pushing it, they're all forward. There was one player at the back, but he couldn't get in there, which was uh, O'Grady, and he was screaming at his players to get back because he couldn't. There was an easy chess mark to compass. This is no guarantee either. <laughs> yeah, so Aidan Brentsons with the ball. Left footer, no, the right footer, he hangs it all up. Guess what? He's going to the skinny point, side yeah. with another point. So, ah, oh, she's Eight goals, 14. Out there on you know, FBA scoreboard to Mount Compass, four goals, eight. Just about into time Alvin. on. So, go, Kevin, kick on. Anyway, the ball was kicked in. There's no chance now for Compass to get the ball back over to the big fellas out there in the front of the goals, and it's not happening. Then the umpires come on over there and says, I'll, I'll throw it up again, and that's exactly what he does. And the ball's come down now, and Strath have got the run of it for a minute. No, they haven't. The bark has been taken down there by Compass. Matthew King. He's just trying to get it up there in the slipstream, but uh, it didn't quite and work like that. Ooh, uh, could have just about paid that. It could have just about, but it uh, would, have, would have been a game payment for something like that in front of from the goal. Here's a chance now for... Strath to, to get it out. They've got, they've got some numbers there, but I'm finally nipping in there. The, the compass was um, R R R Riley Endersby. He got the kick and it's gone down that far side. Holding the ball. Holding the ball, says the umpire. And I don't think there'll be too much longer before the, 
the siren goes for, for three quarter time. It's going to finish early here today. And the ball now will be kicked down by Strath. And it's very difficult to get. You've got to get in front when the ball kicks into the breeze because it just drops like a tack. And now Strath have taken the mark. There's people leading a mile away, and there's no way no one's going to get that far. Yeah. Now, I think there's been another free kick paid no, out there. No, Squall went off. Uh, it's it? not indicating that, is no, it? No, he's not indicating that. Oh, no, perhaps he didn't pay a free kick. No, no, he's gone out too far, so it's a throw in, spoiled from the marking contest. And the boundary umpire wins the, the ball here, and he will come in and throw it in, which he does do. It's not easy to throw the ball in from there, and there's another ball up. I was just writing them down here. There's like a picket fence. And then, then <laughs> another than sheet of need a sheet of toilet paper soon to write it on. They'll get all all the ones in a row. Anyway, down here, down they go again. But Strath doing the right thing. They've got someone waiting for the, the kick out of the pack. The, they come in short, and they've done that, and they've got the the mark go back. But uh, this, this might make a bit of a difference now. Mitchell Godfrey, Godfrey's got it, but it's n not a good kick out there. Uh, didn't he knock it away from his teammate then? Anyway, looks like the boundary umpires won this one. And he'll throw it in. There can't be too much time because there's only been two goals scored. Yeah, there so. hasn't been much done at all, has it? And Clamp comes in, gets a knock, and the um, the ball came in very low from from the throw in, and it's going to happen more and more because the boundary umpires are getting tired, the wind's getting harder, and the, and again the umpire. We'll throw it in. In he comes. Throws it in. Bit of volleyball goes on out there with the football at the moment. And there, there it is. There goes the siren. The siren now signals three-quarter time. And that wasn't a good quarter for Mount Compass. They got one goal only. And so did Strath Alvin. So. Certainly did, but Mount Compass got a lot of goals. We'll wrap on to here. This is 90.1 Happy FM Great Southern Footy Match of the Round on air and YouTube. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rob this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, there in your field. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want ShedX Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with ShedX Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with ShedX Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. ShedX Flurio, 
www.sportsgrid.com.au. Thanks for that, Ian. Yeah, they're wrapped up into here. A couple of games still going on for three-quarter time. we we'll go on to it. But, uh, yeah, it certainly looks like Victor Harbour have got their run going and uh, they're going to finish up uh, probably up right high into the... Uh, could even just about pick up second, I'd say, coming they up here. get a fair percentage out of that. Yeah, they? yeah. They're, uh, when you look at the conditions around and uh, what's going on and you look at their score, so... While you're listening, folks, we'll go that Victor Harbour at the moment are 19 goals 8, Goolwa Port Elliot 3 goals 1, My Ponga Selix a 7 5 to McLaren Districts 3 2, so that's going to be a tough one for McLaren to get up onto here. That uh, might be a struggle for them. Langhorne Creek 9 7, Wollonga 5 6, so it looks like Wollonga well, no, are going to almost come to another loss. Mm-hmm. So. And at the moment, we do not have an increase from the Yank scoreboard and Counter Bay. That's a 2.6361 from half time. They're still going, so we'll try to get an update before we go on to there. And of course, here, and uh, we have 8.14 to Mount Compass to Strathalban, 4.8. So that's going to be a pretty tough run here because it's going to be, what, it's basically five goals. It's double the score. Yeah, it's five goals on it, Kevy. so you work it all out, and that's uh, when they kick four or eight for the game, you'd think, well, kick five to get in front and keep the other opposition scoreless. Could be done, because the uh, compass are going up the hill against the wind, so uh, they can do that, but yeah, they need to get uh, on the push bike and make sure they make all inroads to kick goals. Yeah, a couple of quick goals to start the quarter off, well... It'll panic. I think you'll find the encompass. I think you'll find we'll finish up just about uh, with every player and and their reserves Damn sitting in the it. back in the back lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We but, wouldn't uh, try and score any more for a while, but that, that can be a big hole. To, yeah. To, to it's try, a dangerous play if you try to do that. Yeah. You know, like I said, they they really did it tight in the second quarter. Uh, got a way to to get themselves out in, into that. Uh, sorry, in the third second quarter year to hold them out but uh, struggled themselves here because uh, Strath held that in the back lines so uh, it would be interesting it's uh, still live here but uh, you would have to say the odds are bending towards Mount Compass more than Strath so time will tell on us now and like I said a lot of the others ones there the only one that's probably going to be close would be interesting to keep an eye on would be the Yank and Counter Bay one yeah yeah uh, game's no. going to finish fairly early, Trev. Yeah. It's only quarter past four Well, now. just imagine what we would... We'd be packed up at home by now if they started when the <laughs> players come out on the ground. It was 2.10, two, two thank you very much, for a 2.30 game. That's how early the young, the early games finished. So, to go on. So, the up guys are starting to get themselves set. They hold themselves aloft here as we get underway for the final quarter here at Mount Compass. Up they go. Pinion into the ruck. Can't get it. Comes out. Turner can't get it for Compass. Strath now. Kick it quickly into attack. Out they go. Thumped over the back. Whoa. Over the back it goes to Simmons. Simmons snaps around and he right holds on, out and misses that one. Goes through for a minor score. And Strath Alba now go to four goals, nine to eight, fourteen. Mount Compass on the FPA scoreboard. Mm. They kick the ball back in quickly. That's Compass to, and down the ground they'll go with it. And Compass now have got a run down the ground and at the back of the pack. They've got a couple of the quick runners there now. They can if they can get the ball over to the forward line. They'll get a goal. No, no it's another point. So it's eight goals, 15 now to Mount Compass. That's 63 to four goals, nine by Strathalban. On our FBA scoreboard. Yeah, Strath now really need to come straight down the centre. Well, they've got to try it, don't they? Well, it's no good pushing, you know, messing around out here and the, the pocket's short and everything, which mm-hmm. they have. Control the ball, yes, but you can get something more set out down the centre. You know, clock ticks over when it goes out to here and over it goes, here it goes, here's the turnover Turner goes off, too far for his player, that was a bad, bad mistake by Mount Compass Turner got the mistake from Strath but he kicked it over his full oh, his head and Strath now have come oh, out there just. almost got in, he just marks it inside so O'Grady with the ball back pocket though it's not where Strath need to be he's holding it up 
got to get on and get uh, some momentum going. Drives it up, up it comes to the wing. Up they go, out, and that's straight away. Marked there to Pinion. Pinion sitting that loose man across Ruck and across the centre. So Pinion goes back. There's no rush for him to get on with it. I can tell you that. He'll be happy no, to he pick it out. Day, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he's got more into a strath as he goes out. Finds his player come out and Ziggy. Just barely distanced. Yep. It. Yeah, you see Ziggy now with his foot, he can get that right up into that pocket, deep, he can do, if he's going to try it, he'd be better off probably to drive it deep into this top pocket, in he goes, drives off, slips it, in he goes, he quite often does that, goes right up into there, almost a mark out there to Compass, Compass handballs it out, out it goes wide, O'Grady gets it for Strath, Strath now to Elliot, Elliot kicks it up and down, this is going to be all, all Compass. Strath hey. come out, interfered with it, and there's a mark to uh, Zimmerman. So, Will Zimmerman, he goes off in the pocket, finds his player, wasn't a good kick, and he had to work hard to that one to get over there, and I reckon that's uh, Riles Enderby. So, Compass now, deep in that pocket. The only favourite thing here is that the wind will semi-push that across his body, left to right a bit. So if he probably puts this one more to the point post, no, he goes off, goes to the lead. There's a bad kick. There it goes. Poor, poor skills goes off and goes over. Over there, Simmons will grab this one. He'll hold it up for the run that goes through because he's got no players. Compass have gone back. They've gone right back deep. He's looking around. Nothing here for Compass uh, Strath to move. Drives off, so he kicks out wide. Oh. Goes out in the wing. Picks it all up. Off they go. They drive off now. Goes all up. That's going pretty good. That's a good kick. That's what they needed to do. They go out over to there. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. Here's Jake Stafford. Uh, it's a, uh, name that's not come to mind all the time. Yeah, three-pointer, Kevy, so he's come from somewhere of note. Yeah. So that's what Strath needed. Make every opportunity there, there that they can. And this water boy out here has uh, stood there for two quarters now. <laughs> Just standing there, right on the true wing position with a centre throw up. Up it goes, comes back down, comes back out. Compass tries to pull it out. Hicks comes around there. Strath can't get it. It's knocked out of his hand. Goes over there and gets wrapped up in the cricket pitch. And it'll be a, another ball up. Umpire will walk them off of the pitch. So Pinion into Ruck. Up going Wilkes. Goes up. Pinion gets it out. Comes back down. Handball goes back from Strath. Out they come. Picked up there by Compass. Not real smart move. He's going to go underneath. Zimmerman goes underneath. Handball's off quickly over there to Lockie Nash. Nash goes forward. Goes back out. Turns around. Picked up there. Picked out there by Cooper Mansion. He goes off. Comes out there to Gilbert. Gilbert for Strath. Runs off. Oh, Boy, has yeah, he yeah. ran a distance. Mm -hmm. Umpires picked him. Turned Twice around. Fended off. And got too far. You could pick it. Every time he went to use it, a player zoomed up on him and he just kept stepping away and going and he kept going and it was over. So, the ball now goes to Compass. Compass on that, ooh, just on the wing, goes up forward. There's a hat out on the back, goes over there. Pinion's not happy because they held him out. Manson gets it in, goes in, and finds his player there and Jacob Wright. Jacob Wright with the ball. Stagnant, they're not moving too good. He handles out wide, goes over, steps back over, fends off too high, turns around, finally gets away with the kick, goes right up to full forward. Over the back goes up the player there and he grabs that there and that there is Riley Clamp. So he and gets up. Unusual, he has not kicked a goal yet. No, well he nearly always should give him this one. So Crows didn't want him. Comes come back from state duties. So 
came from the association, didn't he? He went to the state state football. He's come back from that and he's playing up here and didn't get a start at the Crows. Drives it all up. Umpire moved, but he's happy with that. Comes back in, signals a goal. Beachside Betting next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard, and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Be jumping out with bladders and leather. <laughs> all, all throwing up now in the centre. Up it goes. Pushed down there by Strath. Picked up more by Compass, but all the player there is. No way can he get away with that one. And back it comes now to the umpire. Umpire tosses up high again. The big fella there from Strath and Thomas Wilk going up for the ball and just making sure no one else gets hold of it from Compass and gets away with it, just punches it away this time and the ball now goes into another stack of players and I think the, bound, the central umpire would have to go and throw it up again. So this big fella there, he's just going to stand there and just go in and knock the ball, he's got another chance to do it, punches the ball straight down on the ground, that's, that's Welk. And Compass now pick it in, oh, the player there. The play on, says the umpire, and on the ground it goes. And here's a chance now for Compass to get the ball back to there. There, scoring end, and uh, it's not going to happen this time. And the umpire makes sure there. And we're at the eight-minute mark of this last quarter already, and there's still a reasonable... There's not much difference in the score. There's under 10 points. And the ball will be brought back now by... O'Grady. O'Grady. He's, he's a good kicker. It doesn't go over the back of the whole lot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he, he took a chance in, didn't he? <laughs> and the mark has been taken over there by... Lee... Lee Turner, Leo Turner. Comes now, the ball now is only just outside Lagging. the, f yeah, the 50 went for the area. ball and got him under the legs. Umpire gives a free to Compass and calls him to play on. And play on, and there's Ziggy. a mark taken down there by Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy Vagunas. And, and there's another mark taken down there by Mount Compass. This will be interesting yeah. now because this one is not taken... That Aiden far out. And all he's got to do now is uh, be accurate, kick isn't it. He? He's got to be accurate with it, and there hasn't yeah. been too many accurate from this far out, has there? Except this one. And there is a goal to... Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tire retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. It uh, makes it tight and we're virtually, you know, ten and a half minutes gone, so... You say, you know, you're 23 points almost, of difference. Yeah, you're almost getting to half time on it. And quick score, folks. We've got it three quarter time. Encounter Bay, 12 5. Yank, 8 5. So the donuts are gone from their studio. <laughs> up they go. Turn around. Compass gets the ball. Goes straight out there. Kiss the ball up. Tries to swing around. Gets her out to it. Now they break away. Go under. The handball goes over the top. Out it comes out here to Turner. Turner spins around. Drives all off. And look at that. Walks in easy miss out in the fall. <laughs> oh, 15 metres out. What a mistake that was. So anyway, and he's coming off. Up, they should have dragged him off before he got that kick. <laughs> Back pocket now. Kick was coming in. We've got... 
But, uh, what have we got there? The umpire's coming in, and there's a free kick for a must be off off the ball infringement, and he's given it to Compass. So he, he signalled back, so there must have been a infringement late at the back behind play. So he's given it where the ball is, which is correct, and it comes to the young lad now. I reckon is Riley Endersby, who tried to pass Uffloff last time and made a big mess of it. So if he comes, I don't think he'd do it. Turns around, kicks it, looks reasonably good. I think the ump. What we got here is give him a kick, in yeah, early, run in too early, block the player coming in for a shepherd, and it returns it and gives it off, which is a shame because I reckon he kicked that Kevy. Well, he could have, but we'll never know, will we? Yeah. The goal umpire is not just telling. Now the player's trying to get on too quick, too fast, and the umpire's setting him. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Just as they don't listen to whistles, do they? Yeah. <laughs> so now, finally, Strath kicks the club room side. Up they go. Out it comes. Comes over. Handball back goes out. Comes around. Picks up there. Goes around quickly there in uh, Nisbet. He goes off. Forward it goes. Over the back it goes. Turns around. Quick up there. O'Grady tries to get onto it. He grabs onto it. Turns around. Compass have got him on the touch here. The umpire will come in for a ball up at the With four forward on flank. Four on one there at one stage. So, right on the forward flank for Strathalbyn now. And the sun's brilliantly. <laughs> up they go. Pushed all out. Goes to Compass. Compass kicks forward. Goes right up on the wing. Goes over. Need to touch it. Ziggy does. Gets to it. Does the right thing and runs it over the boundary line. True wing position for a, a boundary throw in. So I said, worked into that one. Had to go. So, Compass got it out. Need to touch it so they couldn't give a kick over but had to get it there. Compass doing the right thing. They've dropped three players up in their forward line, so at least give them a chance of holding it there. So right, boundary umpire sets himself. Nearly 14 minutes gone. Up they go over the back. Smash forward there by Compass. Comes back out. Brenson tries to get it up. Compass gets it again here now. Goes up forward. Body on body. Goes up. Ziggy can't get to it. Goes off oh, into it. Turns around. Goes over. Strath on top of it. Trying to get off. They're not worried about it. They want to hold it up too. And the umpire comes in for a ball up on the uh, forward flank. Another swallow dive done. <laughs> yep, goes up thump out by Strass, Strass series of handballs, comes out quick, goes off, not a good kick, goes forward, Compass gets it, he gets the ball out picks over quickly, goes out there now comes over there and he finds his player out here in the flank and that's Peter Griffith Griffith goes out, the ball hangs up, out it comes, Strath goes into it and that's Ma Bailey Nisbeth Nisbeth goes out He's looking wide. Don't need to do that. You need to attack and get onto it. So, short kick come out. Comes over. He finds his place now in Mitchell Godfrey. And they're still on exactly the wing. They haven't gone forward one bit with two kicks. Off they go now. Nisbet, um, turn around. Puts it all up. Over the back it goes. Comes out. Picked all Oh! Protect the head to the player there. Goes over. Strath quickly picks it up in Elliot. Elliot goes forward. Drives it all out. There it is. There's a goal. Another one they wanted. Mark. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au up they go, Mackenzie goes up, comes back out, Compass have to break it out, they can't, turn around, picked oh. up onto it, goes over, <laughs> kick now by Compass, up and down, look at the wind, push that one back, over it goes, out in the wing, turns around, Compass, turns around, oh, sling tackle, umpire pays holding the ball. I remember the first ten games they would, pit, they would uh, pay against them, over the back it goes, and over the back of Compass there is a relieving mark at the full back position. He's going to take all day to kick yeah, this. Yeah, he'll take over onto it. They don't take want to come this side. Turns around, steps inside, goes over. Turns around that Zimmerman. Zimmerman puts the ball up on the back flank, goes up over the back over there. Gilbert grabs it and he turns around and gets the paid the mark. He's up on the wing position. Well, good goes long onto kick it. in here. Drives off, good puts the ball into the pocket. It. Up they go and out comes O'Grady. O'Grady. I think he's paid that one, hasn't he? He has to. He looked to be the only one that grabbed it. 
Man, there's no one else going near it. But anyway, we'll we'll see what he can do here. He's he's inside fifty with the breeze behind him. A goal here. I mean, time's running out a little bit too. Yeah, still still time for them though. They'd be you know, nearly ten minutes, wouldn't they? Yeah. We only had two goals last quarter. It went to, to at least twenty eight. Yeah, well, a lot of time been wasted chasing balls that are not coming back. It's a strong Hopefully kick. That's not a bad kick. Umpire signal on point. And that's seven goals, ten, fifty-two to Strathalbyn, nine, sixteen, sixty-nine to Mount Compass. Certainly is. Compass now with the ball. Just need to control this. Up it goes, drives off, puts it out the back flank, up and down, misses it, picked up there by Strath, slight kick forward, goes forward on it, picks it all up quickly, Strath can't get the handball out, Compass get in onto it, diving around, bodies going everywhere, and they get the resultant ball up going in their full forward position. She goes in the air, Ruckman goes up, over the back it comes, oh, an airy by the Strath yeah. player, nearly Keep took his own player one off in Matthew yeah. Harris. Turns around, goes up and down, up on the wing now, comes over. Ziggy, that looked throw. almost looked like a throw out of that one. Turn around right in front of the umpires. We could see it here, and we're directly in line, and they don't see it. And you sort of think, well, hmm. If so, there, ever there was a throw, it was that yeah, one. Yeah, ball up it goes, comes out. Mackenzie gets it. He turns around. He straps out, goes onto it, and the umpire oh. says, holding the ball. So much about the rule taken in a ruck and giving you not getting pink, heavy because that was taken out of ruck, and he said, no. Nope gone. So Strath now drives this ball back forward. They're just kicking it up high though and out they go. Over the back it goes. Turn around. Picked out there by uh, He's just pushed that straight Fred out Matt of bounds. Brent Creek and he goes out yep, onto it. Paid the free kick too. And Strath with a recipient free kick. Drives this ball back up now. Goes back up the full forward. Over the back it goes. Topped off of there. I don't reckon he got to that one. I reckon she's touched Another. Riley Clamp reckons he got it, but he didn't. So it's another point to Strathalba. They're going to 7 11, 9 15 to Mount Compass on the FBA scoreboard. Mm. Compass about to bring the ball back in. They'll probably still go over that side of the thing. They're going to kick it in short. Mark being taken down there by Stra uh, Compass. 25. Heatley. Heatley. And the ball now has come in, and here's a chance now for Strathalbyn to have a long shot in. And it will now because it's gone over there to Simmons. Simmons. And Simmons has only kicked one goal today. If he kicks this one, Trevor, it'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah, we're nearly 20 minutes gone now, Kevy, so. Yeah. I reckon he I has. I reckon he has. Yeah, I reckon he has too. Yep. Yes. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. Yeah, the goals yeah don't quarter. know if there's ten, but um, yeah, they've, yeah, they've got, well, yeah, they've kicked five in this quarter, haven't they? So yeah. there will be time. So I said, you know, went to 27-28 when it was last time, but uh, Compass, uh, you know, going to struggle to have to hang on to here. Well, they're going to have to try and score, are they? Yeah. So up they go. Pinion gets it all out. Compass gets wrapped up out the play and uh, Elliot gets up. The umpire comes in for another ball up just outside the centre circle. Up she goes. Pinion goes up. Can't get out to it. Comes back down. Pinion gets it. Kicks it forward now. Ball goes over the back. Well shepherded out to Ziggy so he couldn't get to it. Minchin gets it out the back. He goes oh, over. Oh, oh, we made Butler stretch on that one. It, didn't he? <coughs> Butler now. 
the general in the back pocket, left footer, drives out here, goes out there, oh, straight yeah. through the he hands. He didn't even it. touch it, did he? Yep, <laughs> turns around, oh, got high, pinion got high on that one, and it's a free kick to him. He'll take his time getting up. Yeah. Come in and pull his socks up. And drives it off into the pocket now. Out comes Ziggy, and Ziggy takes that one on his chest. He'll take his time too. If he's a smart footballer, he'll put this in this top forward pocket. Strath have, have crowded into that area, but they can't afford for it to come out. So he needs to play into that pocket. As he does, puts it all up. Look at the wind pushing it out, pushing it out. Goes out there. Strath spoil each other in his pinion. Oh, I reckon they were lucky. Those Strath players spoiled each other. Pinion yeah. took it, but anyway, they got it. Now it goes to Butler. Butler in the back line. Comes out, handballs over to Gilbert. Gilbert back to Butler. Butler turns around, goes back to Gilbert. Gilbert runs again. He'll almost go time again. Goes up to his left foot. Up he goes. Turn around, push down. Two under one. Turns around. Creek gets it. Goes out for Compass. Puts it all out. Goes over there. That Zimmerman holds the ball up. Can't get hold of it. He's out on by Gilbert. You can't ping him on the ball there because he's flat in his back. And they turn around and be a ball up on the forward flank for Strathalbin. So going on. Time starts to tick away now. Goes up. Smashed out there by Compass. Goes over. Gilbert tries to get his own man run into him. Turns around goes onto it. Compass are quite happy to keep this bottled up under here. As long as Strath can't make a break. So the umpire comes back in for another. But if they do make up. a break and kick a goal or... Yeah, so it goes up quickly there, goes away now, the kick was smothered, out it comes, Compass have got the ball, drive it out, they go for the boundary line, that's not smart because that's untouched and you turn the ball over. Not clever, goes off, Strath come in, they go back to Butler, Butler turns around, it's a left footer, he likes to set things up, turns around, just drives, kicks his ball up Gee, and under, goes into there, front goes up, hand goes down. Compass gets wrapped up, he gets turned around, he goes up. Umpire can't do anything there but to give it as a ball up, and it's on that forward flank though. 20, nearly 24 minutes gone now, Kevy, yeah, so yeah, she's starting be, to clump away. It'll be three minutes up they to go, go, I reckon. Pinion goes up, gets it all down, comes down there, and it'll be a repeat exactly the same again. And this will be what will happen so, for the next three or four minutes. <laughs> yep. Up they go. Strath get the ball out. Comes straight over. Goes around there to uh, um, Hunter. Hunter goes up. Ball gets touched. Goes over the boundary line. And it'll be a, a ball in by the boundary umpire. On that forward flank. They set up. Clicking out. 24 and a half gone now. So Compass is uh, going to be happy now just to try and bottle this all up. Yes. <laughs> Exactly up she right. goes, pinion goes up, pushes it down, goes down there. Compass picks all up, he tries to get it, he gets legged, goes out there, the umper car comes in and will repeat a, a ball up. Still on that back flank, up they go, up they go, down it comes there. That's the kick by Compass at blind, you can turn them over, but a turn around gets in, Compass gets into it, the whistle's gone, the umpire's hot onto this and will be a ball up almost on the wing position. Up they go, out they go, comes back down there, goes into there in the hands of Adam Hunter. He gets wrapped up and it's still on that back flank. Ticking away here, so yes. it makes it harder and harder for Strath. Up they go, pinion goes up, then he gets it, kicks it all out. No good kicking it out, you're better off to hit a target because Strath have got that defensive zone set up. They bomb it back in though, this is a trouble, it could go up. Falls in the hands of Compass. Compass now need to go out, hold up to it. That's all he needs to do now. Yeah, it's all over Young now. Young lad just comes out there in that one there is Jordan Hooper. He just needs to spot a player. He goes up, up and under. Turns around, tries to get Ziggy. Can't get to it. Out they go. Handball comes out. Compass now got a bit of a run onto the opinion. Gets held onto. Can't get out to it. Strath are trying to get it out. Elliot kicks it around the body. Goes up over the back. Zimmerman goes over too far, here comes out the back, Riley Clamp goes over, drives this ball up, goes forward, cups up on the Simmons, Simmons mm. gets wrapped up and the ball goes over and it'll be almost, oh, mm. and it's kicked into the goal post and should almost be a free kick. 
set the set the point post, but he was socket off the ground by Strath. So one thing that goal umpire could not tell us if it didn't dribble along the ground, because mm. otherwise out in the fall, which is a free kick. Strath go up, can't get to it. Zimmerman gets it. He gets wrapped up. He gets put down, and it's in that forward pocket. Uh, safe got now. Ourselves. Yep. Well, we got there. Twenty eight is it gone, Kevy? So. Yep. So it's turning around. We're starting to fog up in here, yeah, folks. Yeah. No, it's only 26.40. So goes up. Compass kicks the ball. <coughs> Comes out to Pinion. Pinion, Pinion. gets around. Oh, he turns around and gets under it. He <laughs> turns around and gets up. And that's a free kick to Strath. He, he had a player on the inside. Strath now, quickly, kick forward. Goes up to the goals. Goes over the top. Simmons comes he, out and marks 50. right in front. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Simmons marked it right in front. It's just a matter of the different one kicking it. And this is Joel Hodgson. He's taking so too long there, are they? Hodgson. Umpire's called Tom Black on, back on here, so he's setting him. So it goes over. Sets him all up. If he misses this, it's a big bad well, news. Goes it, off. Though. He misses it. He gets there. So he gets his first. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au down that way and see what happens. Yep. Anyway, set ourselves up. Go, Kevy. Umpire throws it up. The, the ruck came up. There it is. Up Too and, late. And, and <laughs> no one touched the ball on the way down. And there it is. Four points the difference. And now Compass, get out of it. They certainly mm. did. They worked hard to get onto that one, Kevy, so you can't... Uh, blame them on it but uh, yeah so uh, it's uh, finished up a lot tighter than we thought would happen and goes on to there so if uh, we just go around while we try and grab them Kevy and uh, goal kickers for Mount Compass we'll have uh, Riles Enders, Riles, it's Riley isn't it? Riley Enders yeah, Riley Enders B, it looks yeah. like an S but uh, has two goals Brandon McKenzie has one, Nathan Hicks has one, Tom Pinion with two Aidan Brentsons with one, Klaus Simmons with one, and Zach Hill with one. And for Strath Alban, Gallant in defeat, but that's going to hurt them badly. Mark Elliott with three, Riley Clamp one, uh, Joel Hodgson one, Jake Stafford one, Ben Simmons two, and Will Stafford with one. So we try to get scores from around the ground, Kevy. So if you want to write these I'll down write so I down. read yeah, them out for what? you, because you got your pen there? Uh, yes. So, yeah. So, full time at my Ponga Selix. We have my Ponga Selix 11 8 to McLaren Districts 2 7. Oh. Uh, sorry, 4 3. 4 3. 27, yep. So it's 11 8 to 4 3. Yep. Uh, Mount Compass we've got here. Victor Harbour, thank you very much. 25 15. Yep. Goolwa Port Elliot 4-1. Yep. Langhorne Creek have kept themselves alive with 10-12. Yep. To Wollonga, 6 goals, 8. Yep. Uh, in Counter Bay, there's still the three-quarter time. So, and that's, uh, sorry, the three-quarter time still is for um, both uh, Langhorne Creek and Yankalilla. So we don't have their full-time ones yet at the moment. But... Uh, yeah, because the Yank one, if they're kicking with a win, could be around. So we'll try to hang around for a little bit, folks, to see if we can get those last two. But so far, the winners for the round 14 here are my Ponga Selix, Mount Compass, a Victor Harbour, but the time's still going there, but there's no way they'll ever get back onto that. And, of course, we're waiting now for scores from Langhorne Creek, Wollonga, and uh, Yank Encounter Bay, so uh, going out, so... So, who have we got next week, Kevy? Who have we got next week? Going yeah, to the round 15, is 15, it? 15, yeah. Counter Bay, I reckon, fellas. Yeah. Counter Bay versus my Ponga. 
Oh, so my Ponga Selix and Counter Bay, that'll be a one. My Ponga Selix were back in the hunt again now. So, so uh, but uh, yeah, well, like, looks at this stage for like Willunga and McLaren Districts were going to be the two hot favourites are starting to fall in a little bit of a hole. So, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Victor. So next week we've got Langon Creek versus uh, Mount Compass. Counter Bay versus my Ponga Selix. Gore. Port Elliot, Strathalbyn, uh, McLaren Districts versus Victor Harbour. Well, that'll be a good one. And Wollonga versus Yankalilla. Yeah, we just got another one in, Kevy. Langhorne Creek, 10 goals, 12. Wollonga, 7 goals, 9. That's the full time. What was that one again? Uh, Langhorne Creek, 10, 12. Yeah. To Willunga 7-9. Seven, 7-9. Nine. Seven, nine, That's right. given us full time. Yeah. The Victor game is still going. Yeah. Uh, 20, that won't matter. Uh, no, 22 minutes into there, but we do not have an update on the Yank one. That's still showing uh, three-quarter time, so they haven't got anything going on to that. So, uh, yeah. I think it's fair to say, Trev, my, uh, my prediction, like a three-goal win to, um, in, or to Yank Alilla is looking a bit sass at the present time. Very yeah, sass, well, I think. That, yeah, it depends, though, because it was... Uh, Yank were in front, so if they're kicking with that wind, and the Bays yeah. kicked, uh, you know, four goals like happened here, um, Strath almost got up with the same reason. So if the prediction is that if Yank is kicking with that wind in that last quarter, um, as the Bays kicked, what, six six goals with it, so yeah. uh, you would think that they would have used the win. So if the anchor got it and they've kicked 8-5, they're, they're probably in with a bit of a chance. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But because Irrespective, of, uh, they've got one win up, haven't they, for the season, Yank, and uh, not playing badly today. Yeah, well. they got belted last week. So, like, you know, yeah, they come they up, did. they're getting a bit of uh, a bit of form back in. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, so we probably can't hang around here. But uh, boys need to pack up. So we'll try and get that score in the wrap up when you're back in the studio with you Ian so yep. this is 90.1 Happy FM, Great Southern Football Match of the Round on air and YouTube has been a presentation from Victor Harbour's 90.1 Happy FM.